United States. Police and demonstrators in Ferguson clashed nightly for more than a week, with authorities coming under fire for mass arrest and the use of heavy-handed tactics and military gear. The teenager's coffin was surrounded by photos of him as a child, graduating from school and smiling in his baseball cap. Spirited gospel music by a choir and horn players filled the sanctuary, and mourners clapped their hands and danced in the aisles. Readings from the Bible were met with whoops and cheers. Mike Montgomery, a city employee who took the day off from work to attend said it was real spiritual adding i usually hear more mourning at a funeral i think the family wanted a celebration that's why they had the upbeat music ExpressCoin is the best choice for buying Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and more. ExpressCoin prides themselves on their customer service, so much so that the back end on the website should allow them to be even more focused on your needs. Get your cryptocurrencies with money order, check, wire transfer, or cash deposit. Get started at expresscoin.fppradio.com. That's expresscoin.fppradio.com. The AP reports, Amazon is buying streaming platform Twitch Interactive for $970 million in cash as it seeks to take part in video gaming's growth as an online spectator sport. Twitch is a multi-channel online network built for a generation of people who not only enjoy playing video games, but find it entertaining to watch others who might impart tricks and tips for excelling at their favorite games. Amazon's purchase is an acknowledgement that gameplay video feeds are increasingly lucrative. Twitch had 55 million unique visitors in July of this year, up from 20 million in July 2012. Most visited the Twitch.tv website to watch other people play live or recorded games, and competitions interspersed with advertising. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos said in a statement, broadcasting and watching gameplay is a global phenomenon and Twitch has built a platform that brings together tens of millions of people who watch billions of minutes of games each month. The deal is the latest example of Amazon expanding into new commercial arenas. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Following this afternoon's arrest of Congress on the charge of over 23 million counts of manslaughter, our reporter spoke to Mark Westnick from Savannah, Georgia, just one of the many Americans that has lost a loved one due to the legislative branch's criminal negligence. Because of Congress, my 23-year-old son died two years ago in Afghanistan. My nephew, he lost his leg in Iraq in 2006, and my brother died in Vietnam in 1969. Congress killed my family. Defense attorneys for the now incarcerated 538 member group have dismissed the claims made by Westnick and other victims and released a statement saying their client has been, quote, a pillar of the national community for over 200 years and completely innocent of any and all wrongdoing. Keep checking theonion.com for more as this story develops. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We invite you to take control of the airwaves. All you have to do is dial in toll-free. The number for you to bring up anything you want is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Joining you in studio tonight, Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. And don't forget, you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features there. You get to vote on the stuff there on the front page. In fact, you can submit to the site, and then other people can vote on what you've submitted. Maybe it's a news article or a blog post or whatever you think's interesting. YouTube video, you post it, and then others may vote on it. We might talk about it on the radio waves. Of course, the best way to get your ideas on the air is to call in. Toll-free number, 855-453-SKYPE. skype You can Skype into the show. Username is lrn.fm. Coming up... The newspapers in America have had a really tough last decade, last decade and a half, actually. And they're trying some really desperate measures to try to bring it back, to try to to keep the business alive. And probably the most bizarre one I've ever heard, uh, we'll tell you about here in a little bit. But first, we've got Paul. He is on the line, and he's calling from Chile via Skype. Hello, Paul. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Johnny Ray, and Mark. Hey guys, I wanted to call in 
about the Build-A-Bear conspiracy. The Build-A-Bear now, conspiracy. what is that? Okay, well, somebody called into Free Talk Live a few years ago and was talking about the Build-A-Bear conspiracy. Mm-hmm. Now, now, this got me interested. So I've been doing lots of research, guys. Lots of research. <laughs> I'm a researcher. Three years. Okay? This isn't a joke, Ian, okay? No, Quit it laughing. sounds very serious. Yes, it is serious. Now, kids across America are getting indoctrinated in malls. They're trying to indoctrinate them into the Fluffinati. The Fluffinati, okay? <laughs> they put evil ghost aliens into the bears. And they put RFID chips into the ghost aliens that they put inside the bears. So kids are taking these home. And then, I mean, the it's the lizard alien Jews <laughs> are being controlled by the builder bears <clears throat> okay and what do they have to do with the the so i'm i'm sorry the bears themselves are controlling some no, alien no, group no 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 it's so simple mark i'm sorry Come on. so wait let me see if i um, let me see if i'm following you so the uh the illuminati wait no not the illuminati nope, the, 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 the lizard the lizard people mm-hmm. or the lizard aliens they're putting Are, these bears out there to do something to the, the children of the world? No. Okay. All right. The, this is how it works. The Fluffinati is at the top, which consists of bears that are inhabited by ghost aliens. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Now, the ghost alien bears, they control the lizard alien Jews. Okay. And the lizard alien Jews are the ones that are putting the bombs inside of the bears to send them home. Okay? Has have any of these bombs detonated? Because I haven't heard no, of a single they're, one. They're, listen, Mark, they're waiting. They're waiting. <laughs> right. okay. Simultaneous detonation. Is, yes, exactly. This is all about population. Control. Now, to what, are they, to what number are they waiting? I mean, so, obviously, they're waiting for enough bears to be distributed among the, the homes of the United States. But what's the magic Precisely. number? Did your well, research reveal that? Well, you know, I got I have a lot more research that I need to do. <laughs> but but I have a I have a few facts that I want to go over with you guys. Uh the Build a Bear ghost aliens are flying the planes that spray chemtrails. That okay. really ties it all together. And Paul, I yeah. want to thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. As plausible a conspiracy as I've ever heard here on Free Talk Live. <laughs> It's the, absolutely ridiculous is what it is. <laughs> toll-free number tonight if you'd like to share yours with us, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. But he really didn't do anything much more ridiculous than the average kind of conspiracy show might. I mean, the you know, cobbling to, he just cobbled together some various different conspiracies out there. Why wouldn't that be any more believable than the rest of them? Indeed. And I love how he kept talking about all his research because conspiracy theorists love, for those of you who are new to, the, new to the show, this is an open phone show. Anyone can call in about any ridiculous theory. And so we've had our share of conspiracy uh, theorists calling the show. And uh, they always love to brag about how much research. I've done hundreds of hours, hundreds of hours of research. This has consumed my life. That's when they're not telling us how we need to be doing our the, research. Our own research, yeah. But yeah. the To prove it. It's not that I don't think people need to do research. It's just that where you do your research is a real issue. Mm. If, you, if you're going so to... So chemtrails.com, probably not. Right. Uh, if, if you're going to go to some website that only backs up your recent theory, right. then you're going... You can find... Find something to back up whatever crazy conspiracy theory you have, no matter what it is. And I don't know what it is. I, you know, some. Of, I'm sure I'm a conspiracy theorist too. I'm. I think everybody is. I think that this is a human condition, is to take sort of things, uh, facts that we have, and kind of cobble them together and create stories out of them. And I think that this was pro- this is probably a very useful skill, and that's the reason humans have it. But I think that it can go out of control, it's on a bell curve, and if you are cobbling too much information together, you're a paranoid schizophrenic, right? Like, there's a helicopter, they must be it's broadcasting mind control waves into my brain exclusively. Mm. Like, that is not that doesn't follow it's a non sequitur so yeah well it seems like a universal human trait that we always think let me start over i often think that people <laughs> are doing things that 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 
it's all about me. You know, I think sure. that that uh, that people's behavior, they're acting some way because of something I've done. Even if and, that's not the case. Yeah. and, uh, and Even if uh, there's no evidence for that being the case. Right. So if you see a, a helicopter in your... Um, you think that that some black helicopters have sinister motives. It's it's only natural for you to think that he's there for you. <laughs> what else would he be there for? So you can share your thoughts here. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. Have you guys ever seen the React channel on YouTube? No, Johnny Ray React channel. Uh, no. So they've got these great videos, and there's a there's a series of them. They kind of do different themes. But basically, they get uh, children, teenagers, and elderly folk. Not too elderly. Usually, like, over maybe 50. Um, so, older fo- older generation folk. Uh, and they sit them down, and they have them do something and react to it. Maybe it's watching a K-pop video, or maybe it's, like, with the, the kids, they'll have the kids react to technology, old technology. Yeah. So, they'll, like, bring out an old rotary phone. And sit it in front of them and see if the kids can figure out. I mean, these kids are great with a smartphone, right? right? Can they figure out the old rotary phone? And the reactions are priceless in some cases. Some of the things that the, these kids say, they're probably all under 10. I saw the uh, one with the phone. Those kids you saw are the adorable. Phone? Isn't, they're, so, they're so cute. But the things they say are hilarious as well. It's the observations, you know, out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> uh, the observations they make about some of the features of these old devices. Well, one of them, the more recent, one of the more recent ones is uh, kids react to typewriters. And, I mean, these things... They're just amazing old pieces of technology that are so clunky and so ridiculous in comparison to what people are used to now. Now, if you want to type and you've got a smartphone, you don't even have to lift your finger up uh, from the phone. Of course, you know, 20 years from now, we'll all be looking back at smartphones and wondering what the hell we were doing. But uh, it's just amazing to watch the the youth of today well, looking at I this type, old tech. I, I just I do often think of I learned on a Celetric too. Mm-hmm. And What's that? That is, is that one of those electronic like typewriters? You turn typewriter. it on and it hums. Mm-hmm. Tick. Uh, right? And it, it's, it was, I don't know, it was all sort of this one piece, um, form-fitted. It looks very sort of modern when modern was modern mm-hmm. <laughs> instead of modern being old as hell. And, um, you know, you'd hit the buttons and it tack, 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 tack. It had, okay. the, it had the spherical typing thing, not the, the mm. arms didn't come up and strike the page. Yeah. It had a, uh, it, it, it had the letters all on one spherical ball. I never had one of those things. Yeah, those electric typewriters were really, really powerful seeming. They were powerful. Powerful. Like, you could lose a finger in there if you weren't careful. My parents actually had an electric typewriter that you could type a line in first, and it would then print the whole line. So it was like kind of halfway yeah, between. Yeah, that was like a process. word processor. Yeah, that's one of the early word processor things, right. like a brother or something like that. That's uh, I remember those too. But I also remember the old clack clack where the wire. I the, couldn't. I st- you know I learned on these things. I should be able to uh, handle typos. No, I mean I'm terrible. I have to go back, click, 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 back, space, back, space, back, space, back, space. So there's amazing news about the typewriter that I'm going to share with you when we come back here in moments. This is Free Talk Live. You can share your thoughts. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll free at 877 882 7221. That's 877 882 7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. I'm Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, August 22nd, 2014, gold opened at 1279.20. 
A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for thirteen twenty five eighty two, six sixty two ninety one for a half ounce, or three thirty one forty five for a quarter ounce. That's thirteen twenty five eighty two, six sixty two ninety one, and three thirty one forty five. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. The Warning Signs. At first, he made me feel special. He promised he'd look after me provide for my future. He broke every promise he made. Millions of Americans afflicted. I was ready to leave, but he told me he'd change. So I gave him another chance. I was such a fool. The consequences. Things only got worse. He started making my decisions for me, about my job, my kid's education, my money, my safety, my future. He took away my choices, but I kept going back to the same politicians. The diagnosis? Battered voter syndrome. I fell for the same old lies. They were just playing with my emotions, telling me what I wanted to hear. That's not right. Stop the insanity of voting for the same old abusers. Declare your independence from the two-party system and join the New Hampshire Liberty Party today at nhliberty.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Did you know coffee is the second most absorbent crop on Earth? Most coffee at grocery stores and chains contains banned pesticides and has a high mold content. Seriously, we're proud to partner with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to provide the best of the best coffee, BuzzBox Coffee. Try a free pound today. You cover shipping. 10% of future purchases benefit our efforts to give the gift of human freedom throughout the world. At least 100 World Vision microfinance loans. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want. Just dial toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, and you can join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. We're kind of remembering old technology here just for a little bit. It was a, sort of a preface to a, a larger story about the news media, specifically newspapers, uh, the dying breed of uh, papers, those that remain. What are they doing What desperate measures are they taking to try to remain relevant, to try to remain productive, to try to remain profitable, to try to keep subscribers? Because they've been hemorrhaging uh, subscribers. Many papers have been hemorrhaging subscribers in cash. They've been cutting their newsroom staff. They've been cutting left. They've been cutting right. And they think they're going to cut their way to success. I don't think it's going to work that way. They're trying to, uh, you know, add in digital components. But yet at the same time, they want to lock down the digital components and stop people from actually, uh, you know, accessing their product online unless they've actually paid some sort of fee first. But there's a new technique uh, that's going to revolutionize the newspaper business, at least if one paper is to be, to be believed, they're trying something new. We'll share that with you, except they're actually trying something old. We'll give you the details here in moments. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Coinsinthekingdom.com. We're heading down to Orlando for a Bitcoin party at Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando. Um it, there's going to be lots of lots and lots of uh, speakers there, uh, people from Empowered Law, uh, Sean's Outpost. 
MIT's Bitcoin project. Bitcoin pioneer Charlie Shrim is going to have a little robot going around, from what I understand. Skyhook. Ian, uh, you know something about the Skyhook uh, machine. Yeah, those things are cool. Yeah, you can buy Bitcoins with them. Uh, Jeffrey Tucker from Liberty.me. Bitcoin Not Bombs will be there. Mycelium, uh, the Chamber of Digital Commerce. If you want to know things about Bitcoin, it's a good place to be. And it's going to be a lot of fun if you're in the sort of the Bitcoin community. It's Tickets are 60 bucks. It's at the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista in downtown Disney, Saturday, October the 4th to Monday, October 6th. Hotel rooms are $100, $99. Kids under 12 are free. Funds mandatory. Come celebrate Magic Internet money at uh, the Magic Kingdom. Coinsinthekingdom.com. Love it. Coinsinthekingdom.com. All right, so we'll tell you what the newsroom, uh, one of the newsrooms of America is doing to try to increase their productivity. But first, Pizza Guy's on the line in Fargo. You're on Free Talk Live, Pizza Guy. Hey, thanks a lot. I first wanted to plug Liberty Bits. Uh, you uh, plugged them a few days ago, and I think that's really awesome what they're doing. It's obviously, you know, that's something I wanted uh, to do for you guys. I got tied up in the house again. But, yeah, Liberty um, Bits. That's a really new project cool. by Eric Freerock, who is the host of Cop Block Radio, one of the hosts of Cop Block Radio. He also lives here in the Keene area. And it's basically his baby. He's taking episodes of Free Talk Live and cutting up segments of the show and uploading them as YouTube videos, which is something that, Love that we would have loved to have done on our own, but we don't have the time for, and hopefully he'll be able to monetize it and, and keep you know keep at it, because apparently people are liking it. So what is it, youtube.com slash Liberty Bits? Do you know offhand? Yep. Yeah, Fantastic. that's exactly what it is. I, I went there after hearing about it on, on Free Talk Live, I didn't even know that was happening. I, I think there's a lot of money to be made on, on the YouTubes if you can get that SEO right, so... And spread your guys' message, so it's win for everybody. I'm excited for that. So, Fantastic. Um, yeah, so for what I wanted to call about today, uh, I wanted to ask you what you think about the Communist Party. Don't know if, I mean, do they exist? I guess they do exist. There's a Socialist Workers Party. I'm sure there's a Communist Party They here certainly the, existed at one point. The U.S. I imagine they're fairly small, pre pretty ineffective at getting on the ballot, I'm not sure I, I understand the the thrust of your question. Well, what it do does you... sound like the primrose path, so I'll go ahead and say that I used to be an anarcho-commie, and um, I think that communism sounds awesome when we all die and go to heaven. But until then, um, with probably that uh, private property and free trade is going to be the best system for maintaining peace and personal responsibility. Okay, well, all right. I, I was just, I was having a thought, um, you know, about how, you know, I don't know if you know, where, there is a Communist Party in America, not small, and they actually endorsed Obama. I don't know if, if you're aware of that. When, uh, when he ran in 2008, he received their endorsement. And a lot of people thought that maybe that was going to hurt him, but, you know, obviously it didn't because he won presidency. Apparently uh, not. And I was one. I was wondering, you know, obviously Obama is not a pure communist. Um, he, he would be an incremental step between uh, status quo and uh, commu pair, communist uh, paradise. Yeah, well, I don't and know. I mean, I a lot of people, a lot of communists think that the the step between where we are and communism is socialism. That's what Marx said. But Marx also suggested that the state would wither away um, as uh, socialism increased, which sounds like an obviously ludicrous statement. So, if one likes communism, I suppose, uh, like, I think you, I think one needs to sort of check one's premises if you think that socialism is going to lead to communism. But I think that uh, the Barack Obama probably is not uh, inaccurately described as a democratic socialist. So wait, I'm just curious. Did you say maybe I misheard you that the Communist Party is not a small party? Well, I mean, it's not like they have no members. I, I okay. think they're bigger than maybe like the Constitution Party. I, I guess I, I guess I really don't know. I no. have to MacArthur. I don't think Maybe they're. they're, they're pretty yeah, I don't think they're bigger than the Constitution Party. At least according to Wikipedia, uh, let's see. There actually there is no estimate on Constitution Party and how many members they have. But the estimate in the uh, that's listed at least on Wikipedia is two thousand in the Communist Party as compared to let's say over three hundred thousand in the Libertarian Party. Uh, so, okay. All right. of course, neither party has any elected uh, state representatives anywhere. But there you go. So I don't. Uh, I mean, it seems would, like the Communist Party's pretty irrelevant uh, at this point. I was. I was. What I was really trying to do was bring him back around to my 
old, very tired incrementalist argument wherein I say, you know, to get from here to there, Rand Paul is an awesome solution, and I was going to try wow, to— Wow, you're turning into a one-note Tony on this one. I mean, that's that's been the topic of your last three phone calls. Well, Liberty Bits in, inspired me. I was actually going to call about um, slavery and Nazi Germany today, but uh, Liberty Bits got me all excited, and I wanted to get— Why is that? Or do you think the Liberty Bits is in favor of Rand Paul? No, I think he's actually uh, his titles make it very clear that that he's against Rand Paul. But um, I wanted to have a, a bite. But any mention of Rand Paul just gets your juices flowing. What is it that you like about Rand Paul as a, a presidential candidate? Yeah, you know, I, I like that it's happening. I, you know, I, I guess I don't like him. Uh, I don't like his policies, but I like that it that he's there and that he's having success. So you right. like that the and, ideas and of liberty, think, at least in part, um, are having some success? Well, like I say, if we're going from here to there, there's going to have to be a middle ground. And if if we're going to get there, that's what, what that middle ground would look like. And so I'm excited that that it looks like, like right, that if you look at the trajectory, Rand Paul would be on the correct trajectory, and that excites me. I would agree with you on that statement. I don't disagree. I've got a question. I, I got excoriated on the Rand Paul uh, forums, uh, blog You're posting. hanging out on the Rand Paul forums? I, no, Rand Rand Paul Ron Paul. I'm sorry, Ron Lord. Paul forums. Um, and and I, uh, uh, you know, for one of my, my stances on this, and I want to ask you a question. On All right, great. We'll talk about Rand Paul. Stand by. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Come back with more here in moments on Free Talk Live. Summertime is safe big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex, plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes, all on sale for summer at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Many if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800-917-8251. 800-917-8251. 800-917-8251. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. 
Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at FPP.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about anything you want. Then coming up, a newsroom in one part of the world is trying an unusual approach to try to increase productivity. It involves old technology. We'll see if that'll help them at all here in a little bit. You can also share your thoughts with us about whatever's on your mind. Toll free at 855-450-FREE. Those numbers are brought to you by ProXPN. If you care about online privacy, please check out ProXPN. Just go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. You download their free software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, or Android devices, and you can get rolling and protect yourself online by encrypting your online data. That's what Pro XPN software and servers do, and that means that your internet service provider essentially becomes unable to know what you're doing online. They can know you're online, but they can't know what you're doing online because you're encrypted uh, by Pro XPN. So go to proxpn.com slash FTL, grab the software, and get started. And when you're ready to upgrade to premium and get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world that you can connect to, the ability to privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites, you can do that for just 5 bucks a month by using our discount code FTL50. Now, the 50 stands for 50% off the price of an annual account. Uh, it gets you a heck of a deal, and all you need to do is punch in FTL50 when you're checking out on the premium account. Though you can save even more by using Bitcoin. Pay with Bitcoin, and you'll get 62% off the price of the annual account. You just need to use this code with Bitcoin. It's FTLBTC. Now, keep in mind, ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits. Unlike your ISP, they're probably holding on to records of what you're doing online for up to five years. ProXPN doesn't do that, and you get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. Go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use code FTL50 if you're paying with your credit card, or FTLBTC if you're paying with Bitcoin, and get a great discount on some great privacy features. Let's go back to the Pizza Guy. Now, Pizza Guy has called in uh, about this Rand Paul thing, and he's back on it. Now, he says he doesn't like Rand Paul. But yet, there's something that he's appreciating about Rand Paul's candidacy. He seems to be a bit of a fan, even though he doesn't like him. And Pizza Guy is back with us. Mark, you had a question for him. You didn't have really time to get it out before the break, though. So go ahead. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that I've posited is that a liberty-oriented candidate that gets into um, office, and I'm, I assume Rand Paul would be the uh, the most likely one for that to be, but I haven't. I don't think I've said, you know, Rand Paul is a danger to the liberty community. But um, that's essentially what my comments were um, uh, were portrayed as on the Ron Paul forums. Well, my question to you is: is what do you think about the possibility? that it could be the very worst thing for a liberty-oriented president to be elected for the liberty movement. And here's what my point is. Nobody can fix anything in four years. And it's unlikely that the economy is going to be... It's Well, I don't know about unlikely. It is a 50-50 chance that somehow the economy is going to be better and the world is going to be a better place um, when... You know, in the four years when Rand Paul's done, because most of mostly what 2020 is going to look like or 2019, I guess, is when people will probably be voting or thinking about voting. 2019, 2020 is going to look like has to do with what the world's what's happening right now and what has happened 10 years in the past. It has little to do what's going to happen from 2016 to 2019. Do You get what I'm saying? 
I totally understand what you're saying, and I can explain to you why you are mistaken. Okay, great. Yeah. So, um, so basically, you know, the problem with and why he dislikes Rand Paul is because he's looking at him almost in a vacuum, right? And this question also seems to come from vacuum, albeit a larger vacuum, and that vacuum is, well, if Rand Paul is president and he does a bad job, then that's going to make libertarianism look bad. But Rand Paul being president isn't the only thing that happens when Rand Paul is president. Okay. There's, uh, and so, like I said before, I'm excited that he's doing so well because it shows that there's a shifting in the wind. And if he were to obtain the presidency, he doesn't just become president. What has happened is it's shown that there is a groundwork, there is a infrastructure in the political system that would elect a Rand Paul. If that ground structure is there that can do that, then maybe we can do better next time. But if that ground structure isn't there to to even elect somebody just like a Rand Paul, then it'll never be there to elect an Amash or a Nalapatano or, or Napolitano um, or any anybody better, right? And so he's a, a sign of better things to come. Do you get that? You I, I that get it. I, I suppose that uh, the the argument against what I'm saying is is that um, that look, you know, if you want a um, a U.S. where there's more personal freedom, then um, politicians that believe in more personal freedom are something you've got to vote for, and, and I was going to anyway. Um, in order to get there, and then you know the chips are going to fall where they are, whether you like it or not. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, if Rand Paul was president, I would be supporting somebody more liberty oriented, but he's not, so I, I don't have that option. For me, it's it's always about going from from here to there, and anything that's better than here should at, at the very least be encouraged. And the reason I keep calling in on the issue is one, uh, Ian, you've said before many times that you prefer uh, issues where we don't agree, uh, and unfortunate, and but I like calling in a lot. And unfortunately, uh, we don't disagree on on a whole lot. Uh, So I'm kind of cornered into continuously calling in about how slavery or Nazi Germany wasn't really that bad, uh, which, you know, isn't a position I really like taking. (laughs) Or uh, I call in about Rand Paul uh, and incrementalism and realism, which is the position that's at least more interesting for me to take. Usually I get called the radical weirdo by everybody who's living in the clouds. And here I get to take the more grounded position, which is, you know, interesting for me. Admittedly, so. Rand Paul, better than talking about Nazis and slavery. Did you guys hear Rand Paul on Meet <laughs> the Press uh, mention Keen? No. What yeah. was that all about? The yeah, bear he cat? mentioned yeah. the bear cat, yeah. I think I actually posted that to our Facebook page. Gotcha. You mentioned all right. Fargo, too. Pizza Guy, thanks for the call tonight. Good luck out there. 855-450 free. That is the Pro XPN toll-free line. Johnny Ray, um... I'm not impressed with Rand Paul. You don't even vote. So, I mean, you were actually somebody who was kind of brought into the liberty movement by Ron Paul, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? No. No? No, that's not, that's not quite right. Ron Paul was, was – the presidential election of Ron Paul was happening at the time I moved up to New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. And that – the reason I moved when I did had something to do with Ron Paul. But, I see. But before I knew who Ron Paul was, I was for the privatization of the military. Got it. So, I mean, what's your comparison? I mean, what do you think of this Rand Paul guy? I think that 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 what's what's leading the world and the and the the real people leading the liberty movement are the Carlos Millers and dare I say it, the Ian Freemans. It's not the politicians. Uh, I think the politicians are are taking their a, any politician who's doing anything good is taking their lead from somebody else who's really more of a pioneer, and the politicians are just are just following along and that's not where the change is happening and i think you're you're sort of wasting your time paying attention to politicians well it depends on how much time you're talking about wasting here i mean you know like all we've got is time on this planet right and i I mean i would agree if you spend all of your time following politics yep you you are a groupie you're you know you're not relevant you're a groupie um but at the same time one thing's it's certain that we're gonna have a president a new president in 2016 not the same one right or i don't 70. have a president 
there, there's going to be a president of the United States, and you will have a vote cho- if you choose to use it. Yes. Okay. And you will be able to vote in a primary because you are registered to a party. Is that not correct? Um, I am. I'm a registered Democrat. There you go. So, um, you know, perhaps your opinions don't really matter that much since you're a registered sure, Democrat. Sure, my opinions matter because I can hopefully uh, spread the idea that Rand Paul is not good for the freedom movement and dissuade you think people. He's bad for the freedom and movement. And dissuade people from supporting him financially in any way, shape, or form, and supporting him with their uh, their boot, you know, their posts on Facebook or whatever. This guy is. You want to talk about damage to the liberty movement? It'll be worse if he gets elected. I agree with that much. And he's already damaging it right now. Toll free numbers 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Of course, he doesn't even call himself a libertarian. It's all these other people who are forcing that term on him. It's Free Talk Live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time. Perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time can Consuming expensive office visits? No. No. And no, no. For a limited time, you can try No No Pro risk free. You'll also get the facial kit and a travel case. Get weeks of long lasting results. That's it. I'm getting a no no. Great minds do think alike. <laughs> try No No Pro risk free by calling 800 952 5760. 800 952 5760. That's 800 952 5760. 800 952 5760. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Ladies, with a U.S. divorce rate near 30% in this job market, looks matter. Breast enhancement or reduction, a tummy tuck or a little lipo can work wonders on you and your confidence. With hospital rates at fractions of U.S. prices and thanks to the recent Thai coup, unheard of low airfare and jaw-dropping deals on luxury hotel rooms. Provide a little info. Get a quote. Hit us up at asiarunlikehellguide.com. 
This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest Liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want right here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features you'll find on the site. Again, freetalklive.com. Another great website, antiwar.com. They are the source for global news about various different conflicts all around the world and, of course, taking the position that war is bad, and they do an amazing job. They've been doing it for a long time. I don't know how many uh, years this site's been around, but I know it's at least a decade, if, at not, least. if not two at this point. Uh, they're trying to raise $80,000. They've got you know staff they have to pay. It's not a cheap thing to be the number one site on the Internet for anti-war news and information. And in fact, uh, I believe there is a matching campaign going on right now. Mark, do you know uh, much about the matching campaign? Yeah, as a matter of fact, Roger Veer, who is uh, you know known as Bitcoin Jesus, he's a big fan of the message that Free Talk Live has, the message that uh, AntiWar.com has, and that is uh, you know one of peaceful interactions. And he is matching everyone's donation right now to antiwar.com. I believe he's matching Bitcoin donations. Bitcoin donations. That's I you know that's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. Gotcha. So. Now there is somebody else I think who is matching uh let's see. They've been offered $26,000 in matching funds and they've been offered $10,000 worth of Bitcoin uh to match as well. So whether you contribute with Bitcoin or you contribute with PayPal or whatever their options are for I guess I better give again, huh? Yeah, I mean, it never uh, never hurts. Antiwar.com, go there. They've got the little meter right there at the top of the page that shows you how far they've come. They've gotten to 50000 but they're pointing out here they need the rest of it. They've got to get all the way uh, to $80,000. It's been tougher for Antiwar to raise money in recent years due to the economic downturn, and they had to let Scott Horton go a couple years back. Luckily, he's still on the air doing his show on LRN.FM, so he's keeping that that flame alive. But uh, Antiwar, they had to cut him. They had to cut him as, uh, as staff. So they definitely need your help at Antiwar.com. Your contributions will be matched. Let's uh, continue with your calls and thoughts, and then we'll get into the bizarre story out of one of the news wor- uh, newsrooms of the world. We'll tell you about how they're using old technology to try to make things work better today. We'll see if it's going to be successful for them. Greg, you're in uh, New York first, though. Greg, you're on Free Talk Live. <clears throat> hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, what's on your mind, Greg? Um, I called in yesterday, and I found myself uh, talking about decentralizing uh, social networking because of Bitcoin. So uh, I just thought uh, this is a topic I really enjoy talking about, and it has to deal with liberty. Um, so I kind of wanted to bring it up on the air. Okay. Okay, what is it? Um, well, basically, I I look at um, sort of uh, technology as a big enabler of decentralizing things that previously we needed to centralize. Mm-hmm. And you could see this all over the place. You could see it. Um, there's this guy, Clay Shirky, who talks about it uh, a lot. Um, you can see it, for example, in journalism. Uh, you know, it used to be that uh, you would have a journalist uh, privilege, you would have the press badge, and these days, um, anyone with a blog can be considered a part of the citizen media. They should be, and at so least, journalism, yes. Yeah, you know, you could start your own radio show, for example, um, or anything else. And um, so that kind of blurs the lines and uh, the protections that journalists, uh, you know, had in the past. Now, who do they apply to? They should apply to everyone. And that's kind of interesting because entire sort of industries are being disrupted. You could see this this with Uber disrupting the taxi industry, for example, um, or Airbnb disrupting, you know, um, disrupting the hotel industry. Right. And Mm so you can basically see the progress of technology kind of disrupting what we've put in place before this technology existed, which was much more centralized. And so entrenched players are definitely – you know, they're, they're looking at ways to protect their turf for now, sure. but that's not going to last forever, you know? So, yeah, so that, I, I find that to be really interesting. And I think in general, what you guys talk about governments and sort of having liberty is, is in a way decentralizing what we couldn't decentralize before. I think the Internet would decentralize government as well. 
uh, in the next 30, 40 years, hopefully. So that's sort of my, my thesis there. How um, can you see any areas that the Internet might further decentralize things? I mean, I, I guess I wouldn't have guessed this uh, Airbnb thing and I wouldn't have guessed this Uber thing. Um, these are, you know, I mean, they're, they, I, they, they surprised me, I guess. Um, so, you know, obviously I think it's going to disrupt everything. I just don't know what that looks like. Any ideas? <laughs> Oh, well, for sure. I mean, this is a huge topic, but just to give you like the, the shiny uh, examples, um, look at, for example, hurricane, uh, any, any hurricane, any disaster that happens, a community often has to wait for the city or for federal funds or some organizations to come in and start rebuilding. But do they really have to wait? So, you know, they right now, there are these uh, centralized um, services on the Internet. Uh, for example, Facebook, Google, and so forth. Um, but if you live in a small community, if you live in an African village, for example, there's absolutely no reason why you can't just use your local network. Why do you have to go use Facebook servers? And if you can't reach them, then you can't communicate. So a lot of these things will start getting decentralized. Uh, not only social networking, but power generation. There won't be centralized power grids necessarily. But oh, that would be awesome be when, when that happens. I remember reading something about like a nuclear generator that Honda was developing in Japan. I think it was Mitsubishi, that, wasn't uh, it? What, I don't know, one of those companies. And uh, it was like a really small nuclear generator that you could put out kind of by your air conditioner but it wasn't, outside of the house. It wasn't a thermonuclear. It was, uh, it was, de it was a depleted uranium nuclear, um, meltdown-proof. There's no moving parts or anything like that, from what I understand, and it just sits there and <laughs> generates power. So uh, that was really exciting because I love the idea of decentralizing the power grid. That, I mean, the, the, the ancient power grid that many areas of this country have is a major contributor, certainly in the Northeast here, where it gets darn cold uh, for some parts of the year. Uh, people die, you know, when the power goes out for long enough. And don't they, worry, down in uh, uh, where it's hot, people die when the air conditioners go out, too. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this is pretty serious. And, of course, when the government's in charge, when, these, when they allow for a monopoly on power providing, when they protect that old business, uh, that means that we're all stuck in 1970 as far as the power grid is concerned here. And that's a that's a terrible thing that puts people's lives in jeopardy. Not to mention it's incredibly inefficient to have to shoot all that power across those lines. I mean, that's you know, there's transmission costs involved in that. If you could shorten the distance, then it would be more efficient. Exactly. I, I kind of see government as like a special case of this bigger problem of centralization. I think uh, before the technology exists, uh, government is an emerging phenomenon, and countries are an emerging phenomenon. But once you have, you know, uh, you get to a point where a neighborhood will be able to install sort of a, a government program, like a, like an open source WordPress, you know, for a blog, you would just install, you would set, you know, it would, it would have some settings. Uh, it would vote for how what the tax rate would be with the social services they want. But in general, it could just run the place. And there's not a lot that, you know, you could fill out forms online. There's no reason to stand in line. So I think a lot of it is going towards that. But there's still, I think, a decade or two away. For that. Well, that's because the government doesn't really jump on tech trends in any meaningful way. I mean, right now, if I want to send a motion to the court, I've got to go down there physically or stick it in the mail. Even though they have fax machines, us regulars aren't allowed to use the fax machine. And, of course, if we were, we'd still be talking about 1980s-level technology. So, you know, you can't submit by email. Right. They have email, but you can't use it because the rules are written for 1910 or something ridiculous. Actually, I like think that. one of the one of the most backwards laws, I think one of the most anti-economic freedom laws in New York State, where I'm from, is um, there's a lot of publication requirements that if you form a certain type of company, which is an LLC, other types don't require this. But if you form an LLC in New York, you have to publish it in two newspapers. <laughs> Newspapers, right? They're getting you know, harder to find. Well, or if you create a fictitious name um, and a variety of go bankrupt and a variety of other things, you have to publish it in a newspaper. I mean, I that's crazy. You know, why why not chisel it out on a stone tablet and lay it out <laughs> in the sound and, and have somebody read it out in town square? I mean, well, it makes that's no the sense. Thing. There was a news story actually. There was a story a few years ago about what was I think it was the Eagle Times, the Claremont, New Hampshire newspaper, was going out of business. And apparently the government authorized some sort of a uh, – I don't know if you want to call it a bailout. I think it was I think it was technically a loan. I'm not real clear on exactly how that worked. But their excuse 
for getting involved in this was that, well, we have to have a newspaper. It's that that's our agency of record. You know, like there's these laws that require certain things be published in a newspaper. So the government guys use that as their excuse to bail out this newspaper from failing. Like, oh, my God, we have we, – what would we do? We wouldn't be able to follow our statutes. We need to save this newspaper. What would be the agency of record in absence of this newspaper? Yeah, they don't even know. Crazy. They don't even know how to talk about it. Greg, thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate Thank it. You. Like the ideas, uh, decentralization is a good thing, and, yeah, I think it's certainly true. We're going to see more of it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And good segue because we are going to talk about a newspaper company and a, kind of an unusual approach – to trying to make the newsroom more productive because, man, they are having a tough time. They need to try everything they possibly can to stay relevant and afloat. Hour two's coming up. You can take control here on Free Talk Live. Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The Internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F E E N P H O N E.com. The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, August 26, 2014. Gold open today at $1,290. Silver open at $19.62, and Bitcoin is trading around $510.06. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. In the news, the Bank of America Corporation has been ordered to pay a $16.65 billion settlement to the Department of Justice for its role in selling toxic mortgage bonds to Americans before the 2008 financial crisis. The settlement will also require the U.S. Bank to reduce loan balances and create new loan agreements for low-income buyers. Although $7 billion is said to be allocated specifically for consumer relief, the Watchdog Group, U.S. Public Interest Research Group, claims the settlement will actually cost taxpayers at least $4 billion in lost tax revenue. The group also reports that only $5.02 billion will be considered a civil penalty, while the remaining $11.63 billion can be taken as a business expense. Now That would allow Bank of America to receive a $4.07 billion tax deduction from the settlement. The prospect of an all-out war between Russia and Ukraine grows more likely with each passing week. 
The latest from the Associated Press states that a column of Russian tanks and armored vehicles has crossed into southeastern Ukraine, away from where most of the intense fighting has been taking place. That's according to a top Ukrainian official who spoke on Monday. A spokesman for Ukraine's National Security Council told reporters the column of 10 tanks, two armored vehicles, and two trucks crossed the border near Sherbak and that the nearby city of Novozov was shelled during the night from Russia. He said they were Russian military vehicles bearing the flags of the separatist Donetsk rebels. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live each Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock on 1370 AM in Austin. That's 1370 AM, Sundays at 4 o'clock. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, August 26, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. An investigation is launched into the police shooting death of a man that family members say was suicidal in recent days. It happened Saturday night in Ottawa, Kansas, when 18-year-old Joseph Jennings was confronted by police after they were called to the farm store where he was standing outside. The initial emergency call stated he had a gun, but his parents are questioning that accusation. Cake News reports his parents claim police fired 16 rounds at Jennings, who was transported to an area hospital where he died. His parents say his life did not have to end. Authorities won't comment on whether or not Jennings was armed. The Kansas Bureau of Investigation is investigating the case. Recently, the San Antonio Police Department launched a campaign that they say is part of an effort to do the right thing by our citizens, our rules and regulations, state and federal laws, and the U.S. Constitution. The I Pledge to Do It Right campaign is the SAPD's call to action to its officers and other police departments to pledge to serve their communities and the law of the land. The campaign comes on the heels of criticism of police militarization and abuse from around the nation. Human Rights Watch has released a statement calling on Hamas authorities to put an end to executions of Palestinians who are accused of providing information to the Israeli military. Although Hamas authorities have not officially claimed responsibility for the murders, Human Rights Watch stated that Hamas-affiliated websites claimed responsibility for the events. New reports state that 25 people were executed between August 21st and August 23rd. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show. With a focus on all things topical and liberty-oriented, Corey Moore and his band of co-hosts, including me, keep a sense of humor while attacking the state. The Corey Moore Show, live each Friday night at 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern at CoreyMooreShow.com and LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, August 26, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Odds are, if you've looked outside recently, you've noticed that all dogs everywhere are running. Scientists can't explain why all over the world, dogs of every breed are running nonstop. I'm joined now by animal behavior expert, Dr. Charles Davenport. Charles, what can you tell us? All we know for sure is that the dogs are running fast. But we don't know why the dogs are running? There are a few reasons that dogs normally run. Because they're excited or scared, or they see something they want far away, or because they're happy. However, usually, they don't run at the same time or in the same direction. Do we have any idea where the dogs are running? West. All the dogs are running west. Do we expect the dogs to ever stop running? We don't know. Animal behavior can evolve over time. Maybe running forever is just what the dogs do now. Dr. Davenport, is there any chance that the running dogs are somehow related to last night's blue meteor shower? Or the fact that horses are screaming? Inconclusive. Well, please keep us posted. Up next, where are all the children? This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything. Just dial toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you in the studio this evening, you've got Ian here. Uh, the wise janitor, Johnny Ray. <laughs> and Mark. Uh, so I teased this one last hour. We actually didn't get to it because of your calls, which is always a good thing here on Free Talk Live, so feel free to keep them coming. Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. We also have Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. 
Just send a contact request via Skype first. It'll be approved and it'll be easy to get you on from that point forward. But I was talking briefly last hour about the the kind of the continuing failure of the newspaper business to stay relevant, uh, to stay profitable. I mean, it's tough, as we were just discussing with Greg in New York in the last hour, discussing the idea of decentralization and how it's it's being applied in a lot of different places. Of course, Bitcoin, this decentralized currency, great example of how decentralization can disrupt old technology, in this case, the old money system, the banking system. Uh, with, the world, uh, with the internet, that has disrupted old media, whereas, you know, it used to be that there were certain gatekeepers in the media world. If you, you know, if you owned a newspaper, you were a gatekeeper. If you wanted, you know, you hired people to write for you, presumably you would hire people who would probably have a specific editorial viewpoint that you wanted to promote. I mean, come on, let's be honest that everybody in a newsroom has a viewpoint. Uh, So, yeah, that's the way it went. Television stations, of course, originally there were a few. Technology like cable and uh, satellite gave more bandwidth, more ability to avoid the FCC's control and more ability to create other channels. That's why there are hundreds of channels today. But then the internet expanded that even further. So instead of hundreds of cable channels, now there are countless, I mean, just unlimited numbers of YouTube videos. Millions? uh, Maybe billions at this point. I mean, there's probably millions uh, uploaded every minute uh, to YouTube. I don't know what the current statistics are, but I I remember the last time I looked at them, they were pretty mind-bending, the amount of gigabytes per minute uh, that are being uploaded to YouTube's servers, and all of that's being retained. It's not like YouTube has placed some sort of, well, this hasn't been watched in a while, so we're going to take it offline policy, which they could do if they wanted to. They but just don't. They just don't. They just keep piling it in there. So now there's more choices in the video world than ever before. There's more choices in the audio universe than ever before. It can be argued that Free Talk Live would not exist were it not for the Internet. There's a solid argument for that. We've built our business on the back of uh, of the internet. Now, you know, maybe we could have broken into the old old media in the past and and done it without the internet, but I don't think it would have been possible because our success is really dependent on connecting directly with our listeners, like with the Free Talk Live AMP program, having listeners like you support the show for five bucks a month, and then we can take that and invest it into doing more radio industry advertising and help get on more radio stations around the country. Right. Like A lot of people think that Free Talk Live was somehow a uh, podcast that made it into radio. No. And that is an inaccurate statement. However, there's some accuracy in it in sort of the feel of it. Free Talk Live has always been a radio program, but we needed the internet to connect directly to people, the the, the spread out people uh, that have the ideas of liberty, that understood these things. And, and, we, and we needed their support initially. So we were a radio program, but we were also a, a podcast and it sort of supported us uh, early on. And... So it was important. I learned about Free Talk Live on the internet, and the first episode of Free Talk Live that I ever heard was downloaded from the internet. Of course, and that's that's the way a lot of people come into uh, this program. But thankfully, old media is helping us as well because we are on over 160 uh, licensed FCC licensed radio stations around the country. And they still have listeners, so that's another Thank way goodness. to... Yeah, uh, that, you know, I, I, they've got a lot of listeners. Yeah, I just want to be wherever the listeners are. I don't the care. majority of them, still. I don't care how they're listening. I uh, just want them to, to have the opportunity to hear the show and decide whether they like it for themselves. Now, unfortunately, the newsrooms of the world, you know, radio stations are still out there. They're kind of having a tougher time than they used to in the past as far as selling advertising and doing their business. Television stations, obviously, they're having a, a little bit more of a difficult time. But those two technologies are still relatively rele- are still somewhat relevant uh, to people today, to folks who, that, have, that have older habits. Even though, you know, you could argue that radio and television or broadcast television specifically are becoming less relevant to the youth of America, there's well, a solid argument for I that. I think less relevant, but still many young people are finding the new their new music on radio, on the radio, according to the polls that are out there. So I think that a lot of people think that broadcast is less relevant today than it in fact is. I think that could be true. Certainly people that are ensconced within the new media may think that about old media and they don't realize how many users are still there. But newspapers, it can't be argued. There's no argument at all. They are flailing for relevance and flailing to keep their profits. 
plainly to keep their customers who are literally dying off. Uh, here's a story from The Independent over in the UK about The Times and their newsroom. Almost as if the digital revolution never happened. The newsroom of The Times. I suspect that's The Times of London. Once again resounds to the clatter of the old-fashioned typewriter. Nearly three decades after Rupert Murdoch's UK newspaper uh, publisher revolutionized the industry by moving to WAPing and ending the hot metal era, his flagship title has reintroduced the distinctive sound of Old Fleet Street. To the surprise of Times journalists, a tall speaker on a stand has been erected in the newsroom to pump out typewriter sounds. They say to increase energy levels and help reporters hit deadlines. You've got to be kidding me. I, this, I can't even believe this is real, but the Telegraph, I mean, the Independent isn't a, you know, this isn't like The Onion. This isn't <laughs> satire. Uh, the audio begins with the gentle patter of a single typewriter and slowly builds to a crescendo with the keys of ranks of machines hammering down as the paper's print edition is due to go to press. The development, which was described as a trial today by publisher News UK, has caused some bemusement among journalists, one of whom tried success unsuccessfully to turn the sound off. The idea is one of a series of experiments introduced uh, as the Times and other News UK titles have departed WAPing for new offices. That's a location for new offices in the Baby Shard, London Bridge, and South London. The Times initiative con- coincides with a revival of interest in the typewriter, a trend which the newspaper reflected on page three today with a report on how actor Tom Hanks has developed the Hanks Writer app, which simulates the sound of an old fashioned typewriter and has gone to the top of the iTunes App Store in the United States. Is this true? <laughs> Has Tom Hanks created a typewriter app for iPhones? Can someone fact check this for me, please? <laughs> so bizarre. It's, Hanks, it, this is bizarre. I'm I'm agog at this weird article. Hanks, it noted, can tell the difference between well, the look sounds. Look at the date on this. Is it April first? No, this is Tuesday, the twenty sixth of August, twenty fourteen. Right. Hanks, it noted, can tell. Look, look, look this up, please. Hanks writer, H A N X, second word writer as normal. Uh, Hanks, it noted, can tell the difference between the sounds of an, of an Olivetti, a Remington, and a Royal typewriter model. Whether the journalists of the Times feel a similar. New York s- Times, what makes the Hanks writer click? Let's find out more about that in a moment. Uh, Whether journalists uh, on the Times feel a sense of nostalgia is unclear. George Brock, former journalist from the Times and professor of journalism at the university, uh, at City University in London, said the sound was unlikely to rekindle memories among current staff. He said typewriters disappeared from newsrooms in the late 1980s. There will be very few people there who remember the noise of massed bands of typewriters in the newsroom. We'll have to find out whether a crescendo of noise will make reporters work better or faster. I just think this is a, such a bizarre story because it just shows the old method of like like it strikingly shows the ridiculous old ways of thinking that apply in old media. Like these guys just don't get it. I understand that, you know, you're having issues with your reporters who are probably in their 20s, just fresh out of college. Uh, probably sitting on their phones too long or too often, texting or playing Flappy Bird or whatever it is that <laughs> uh, that they're doing. And I imagine that's damaging productivity. There's more to distract people with digital technology these days. Yes, but I don't but think they're supposed in... to be efficiency builders. So they should be doing as much as any other uh, reporter has ever done. But the idea that the sounds of old technology, the sounds of typewriters echoing throughout the newsroom is going to somehow bring up productivity to the point where you know, they're going to turn the business around or at least see some sort of positive motion in some way. I just It's unbelievable to me. Your thoughts are welcome. It's Free Talk Live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them 
awesome with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, health care, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Gold. It's like nothing else on earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and explore the features you'll find there completely free. One of those features is a free pound of coffee from BuzzBox. That's right. You go to coffee.freetalklive.com. You can get a free pound of coffee. Just any any old coffee either. It's uh, shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. And... I love it. I drink BuzzBox coffee every day. I think it's awesome. As a matter of fact, now that I'm mentioning it, I think I'm going to go make some during the break. (laughs) It's going to be awesome. Um, But one thing that's uh, wonderful about BuzzBox is not only are you getting great tasting coffee, the kind of coffee you drink every, well, you don't drink every coffee. You drink coffee every day. This is better than the coffee you drink every day. But uh, since you drink coffee every day, you can also use this as an opportunity to give. Instead of giving to some charity that's going to just, you know, do some things for some poor people and give them a handout. You can give them a hand up. This is a micro loan. 
And for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, uh, we're able to give another microloan to another family and that allows them to have a better life. I don't know whether it's a plow or fishing equipment or uh, you know, restaurant equipment or what they need in order to make their life better, in order, th- in order to, you know, make their business profitable. I don't know what it is. They do, however. And that's why I support BuzzBox Coffee, and you can too, by simply get going to get a free pound at coffee.freetalklive.com and continuing to get your coffee there through the subscription program, coffee.freetalklive.com. So we were talking about a kind of ridiculous idea to attempt to increase the productivity in the newsroom over at the Times of London. They literally, according to the Independent, <laughs> independent.co.uk, literally have a speaker in the newsroom that is pumping out the sounds of typewriters. Yeah, it's crazy. I think it's it's fine. I, I'm sure I'd be okay with it, just as long as the uh, the the loop is is long enough, longer you mean? than five seconds or something. Like it'd right. drive me crazy, you know, if I heard the same loop over <laughs> and over again. But if then could, again, I could be sitting there instead of working, just trying to trying to find a pattern and trying to see if it was a loop or not. I could see myself getting hypnotized by something like that. It likely has to be a loop unless it's somehow randomly generated. Um, but anyway, Seems they, unlikely. They, they seem to really be doing this. And then the article goes into the, the, the this kind of similar bizarre area of mentioning this Tom Hanks developed app, which apparently is the top of the iTunes app store, according to the independent. It's not because it's useful. It's because it's a fad, I guess. The Hanks Writer app. Now, Mark, you pulled up more information about this, right? Yeah, well, I'm looking right here at the iTunes.apple.com, and it's got the uh, the screenshot, and, you know, it looks like a computer-generated picture of a typewriter, sort of the way you would see it if you mm-hmm. were looking at it from the front, if you were using it. Um, it's set up so that you can type on it, so there's some modification um, but I'm sure that it has a little clicking noises, and when you hit the return, that the uh, little bar thing goes over. It's like a manual, not like a selectric. And, I, I, you know, I typed papers on these things. I don't know if you ever had this experience, but I had to type school papers on these things. And I remember, you know, the ribbon and changing out the ribbon and using the arm thing. And, yeah, and you got you got to come at that key from about three inches away to make sure you mm, yeah. slam it down. Sure you got the force necessary. As a young to... person, you do. Um, you really sort of have to, to, to you know. I was much more of a hunter and pecker back then than than I am today. But, yeah, you you had to have some finger strength to really work a typewriter. Mm -hmm. According to this story over at the CBC News, cbc.ca, about the Hanks Writer app, apparently it is for iPad. I don't know if that means it will work on the iPhone. I presume that that it will. I think there's cross-compatibility there. It would work there. I don't know if Android users have uh, I don't the think ability to do this. I don't think it would work on either an uh, iPhone or uh, an Android. Well, it says it was developed for the iPad, so I don't know. You know, Again, maybe there's going to be an Android it's app. It's a size up. issue. Oh, I see what you're saying. So actor Tom Hanks has created a free app that attempts to recreate the look, sound, and experience of typing on a typewriter on your iPad. Hanks, two-time Oscar winner for Philadelphia and Forrest Gump. And then he goes on through another laundry list of some of his movies. Developed Hank's Writer in partnership with the creative agency HitSense. A clacking sound accompanies the appearance of each letter on a sheet of paper that slides across the screen as you type using the app. He said in a Q&A session on Twitter with the App Store on Thursday when it launched, quote, I wanted to have the sensation of an old manual typewriter. I wanted the sound of typing, if nothing else. Documents. I wanted it. <laughs> yep. And he can afford to hire yeah. programmers to make it. Documents created with the app can be emailed, printed, and shared. On the iTunes Store, the popular app has earned a rating of 4.5 out of 5 stars. One description on the website for HitSense says, quote, The typewriter experience not only provides tactile pleasure, but you can feel the rhythm of your work with each shook shook or fit fit. Yeah, I tend to. Th- I think that that's what people are going to like about it. Is is it sort of has that? It's it's nostalgic. It's fun to play mm. with. Um, but I don't think you're going to. I don't think this is going to replace word processors. No, I don't think so either. I mean, this word processing programs or whatever it's called. I mean, I have to wonder what is the average amount of time someone's spending with this app? Would you just install it and tap a few keys? Oh, isn't that cute? And then quit yeah. using the app. I yeah, mean, really? about that would be my guess. 
Hitsense says Hanks lent the company three vintage typewriters from his personal collection. Oh, he's a typewriter collector. Okay. Mm -hmm. That were a fantastic source of inspiration, they said. The company also created three fonts crafted after the ink blot letters generated by several vintage typewriters. So, I wonder what old Tom Hanks had to pay for this app to be developed. I don't know, but he Half likes it and doesn't matter. $50,000? Um, it could be. You know, when you said that he's a typewriter collector, that it brought up it in my you, mind, I kind of like old radios. I've never purchased one. Like an old vacuum tube radio? Like a gigantic Those things. thing from the 1920s or whenever they were coming out? I like them. I like even better real uh, audio systems that look like old radios. <laughs> I like those okay. even better. You know, like you push the button and the CD uh, thing slides out or whatever. Um, you can The little um, USBs hidden where you can plug in your I hmm. iPad, that kind of thing. Um, they have those? Yeah, they absolutely huh. have things like that. But So, I mean, what I realized there is, is this isn't that unusual in the sense that yeah, they've people just it's just to make something more attractive or whatever. And if people use this, then they use it. But I don't think they're going to use it too much. That would be my guess. And some I could see some hipster a holes who are trying to draw <laughs> draw attention. See, I don't to even themselves. have any relationship to that. I don't know what that means because I I well, aren't I, I know hipsters supposed to do things that are ironic and. That kind of thing. All I know is that um, I've met a couple of hipsters that ride bicycles with no gears. Mm -hmm. And I. Wait, I thought it was no brakes. No gears. And no brakes? Why would they not have brakes? I don't know, but I could have sworn it. It's the back brake thing. It's they're probably doing the brake like you had on your bicycle when you were a kid, as opposed to the hand brakes. Pedal back backwards. I think yeah. I think the, the the real hipster bike though actually does not have even that even kind of brake. It's. I think you're correct about that, Johnny Ray. That's what I've heard. I've heard hipster okay. bikes are brakeless. Okay, and that doesn't make any sense to me. But I have seen them with no gears, and you we would have to actually pay more money to get a bike that has no gears than you would that an mm -hmm. adult can ride. Than you would to get a bike that has 10 gears. Like all bikes come with like 10 or 12 or 15 gears now, and you have to pay extra to, to not have them. And so, this to me, I, I can't use any word. I want to use a better, nicer word than this besides stupid, but I like it's the word that's coming to mind for me. Toll free number tonight, 855 450 free. You take control here. This is Free Talk Live. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. According to a groundbreaking study on anxiety disorders published this week in the New England Journal of Medicine, researchers have discovered that feelings of anxiety can be completely resolved as long as people think about them real hard. After studying subjects with mild to chronic anxiety disorders, we found that the best way to overcome mental stress is to isolate the root of the anxiety, analyze it from every possible angle, and then think about it nonstop until it completely disappears. Researchers worked with numerous subjects in the middle of high-stress scenarios and said the key to overcoming anxiety is to start by focusing on a minor problem, list everything that can go wrong in the worst-case scenario, and then repeat that list in your head 200 times. After anywhere between three to six hours of perpetually torturing yourself over things outside of your control, all feelings of anxiety will completely disappear and you can finally enjoy the remainder of your day. This is the Onion News Network. How many lawyers does it take to change a light bulb? None. They'd rather keep their clients in the dark. There are too many lawyer jokes to count. However, there are some lawyers with more noble intentions. At the Institute for Justice, we bring the light to our clients. We are a nonprofit public interest law firm with clear values and principles. 
At IJ, we fight for those whose most basic rights are denied by the government. Visit our website today at ij.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. <laughs> This is Free Talk Live. You can take control toll-free here, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us on the phones. You can join us via Skype. Skype username is lrn.fm. And if you need focus and are feeling fatigued and trying to get that extra edge when it counts, check out Modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about Modafinil from modup.net, how it's making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge that they need. At modup.net, they make it affordable for everyone to take advantage of the benefits of Modafinil by being 80 to 85% lower in price than the brand name. But don't mistake low prices for an inferior quality. They ensure that purity and potency are consistent to that of the branded version. Now remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and modup.net ships worldwide. It is your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. Go to modup.net and pay with Bitcoin to get a 33% discount, which is a huge deal. Plus, to make the deal even better, use code FTL. You'll get 10 free tablets with your order. Again, code FTL, modup.net. That's M-O-D-U-P, modup.net. Our toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE. Uh, so the Detroit situation also continues to deteriorate, much like the newspapers of America, which are hemorrhaging cash and failing miserably uh, in a lot of cases. Although there's an exception, I think, for the, the weekly freebie papers. They seem to be doing all right. The daily newspapers are the ones that are having trouble. Detroit is similarly hemorrhaging people. People are leaving Detroit, and as a result of people leaving Detroit, the government there cannot collect as much in property taxes as they are used to collecting because of all the people leaving the property prices have gone spiraling down in value in a lot of neighborhoods in detroit so even those who actually still are living in detroit aren't living in houses that are worth a fraction basically of what they were 20 or 30 years ago and so you know that of course means fewer property taxes are coming in from those remaining properties that well, are on the tax rolls and and half the people aren't paying as we've read too right they've just decided screw it i mean i'm not it's just not worth paying for at that uh, at this point they're not getting the services that they've been promised they're going to get 
Uh, we've read articles within the last couple years about how all of the street lights, not all of them, but 50, about 40 to 50 percent of them are completely non-functioning, either because they've been shot out or they just burned out and the city's never been able to get around to fixing them. They don't have the budget for doing that. The no city, money. The city owes money on its power bill, so it can't even pay, even if it could fix the street lights, they can't pay the bill to feed power to the street lights. The city, in some places, has shut down police offices to where you can only come in during regular business hours rather than what it was, which was 24-7. So if you had a crime to report at 3 in the morning, you could go in. Now, you've got to wait until 9 or 8 or whenever it is they open up in the, the morning hours. So uh, people are starting to arm and up. that's Monday through Friday. <laughs> no yeah, crime presumably. occurs on the weekends. Uh People are, I don't know if it was Monday through Friday or all seven, but okay. either way, uh, people are starting to arm up as a result of the police not responding to calls, which I'm sure has happened for a while there in Detroit. Uh, but even the Detroit police chief has admitted that he thinks that it's a good idea for people to arm themselves because he knows his officers can't get there in any reasonable amount of time or at all. So those are just a couple of examples of some of the ways that Detroit has sort of been falling apart at the seams. We talked recently about, of course, there's the whole bankruptcy thing as well. I didn't mention that. The city is bankrupt, and they're in this process, which is very lengthy. It involves lawsuits, uh, unions suing the city, unions suing the city over trying to get pensions or trying yep. to hold on to pensions. Uh, because, you know, the question is, if the city's in dire financial straits, how the hell are they going to pay all these pension obligations that they uh, that they have? They're not. Yeah, so there's a lot of wrangling in kind of the, the legal realm about this. And all the while, the people of Detroit are having a tough time as well. Because, as you might imagine, uh, the again, since the government there in Detroit is, is having a difficult time existing and continuing, you know, they're there. I mean, there's plenty of government bureaucrats there in Detroit, but... It's getting difficult. You know, the, the financial squeeze has been put on this city and the people that work there. And so because the government is being squozen, they're, of course, in turn squozen. squeezing, <laughs> uh, squ squeezed. The government is being squeezed. Uh, no, I like squozen. Yes, yeah, I think squozen is. So uh, they, of course, are putting the squeeze to the people as well. And uh, you know, people in this town, they're having a tough time making ends meet. And if you're having a tough time making ends meet, maybe you won't be able to pay your water bill. According to Reuters, controversial water shutoffs in Detroit will resume today after a month-long uh, memoriam, excuse me, not memoriam, moratorium, moratorium, to allow delinquent customers to catch up with past due bills, said city officials. The bankrupt city's water authority attracted unwanted international attention earlier this summer when it launched an aggressive effort to cut service to customers who were months behind or owed thousands of dollars. The campaign intended to deal with a $90 million backlog in unpaid bills prompted accusations that it was unfair to the poor. During the moratorium, Detroit's water and sewerage pro uh, department... See, now you have a right to water coming to your home. Interesting, huh? Was returned to city control after nearly a year of oversight under the state-appointed emergency financial manager. The city then implemented an additional payment plan that allowed customers to pay at least 10% of a delinquent bill and spread the remaining balance over two years. More than 25,000 customers are enrolled in at least one of their payment plans, up from 17,000 when the moratorium began, said the Water Department in a statement. Quote, the goal of the shutoff moratorium was always to give as many city residents as possible a chance to get current on their water bill, said the mayor. A city water fair on Saturday uh, was held to help people avoid shutoffs by enrolling in a payment plan drew more than 1,300 people. Water Department spokes bureaucrat said to Reuters he did not have an estimate on how many water customers are at risk of a shutoff. And uh, outside initiatives also have aided needy customers, including a website that allows anonymous donors to pay past due bills. Now, that's an interesting idea, you know, rather than uh, just sort of letting everybody slide on this one. There are, you know, people that are coming in to help people out that are in need. Hey, people are going to be, they're going to have their water shut off. It is interesting. What do you know? The market responded. Now, unfortunately, they don't actually give us the name of the website they're talking about here, so we can't actually send you over there to help out. Uh, but I'm sure if you look around, you might be able to find it. Detroit uh, water bills are due, and they're going to be shutting people off starting earlier today. One of the site's creators tweeted the campaign has currently raised more than $100,000 so far. And the department has shut off water to over 7,000 customers for non-payment in June. 
and restored service to over 3,000 customers. They also found over 200 illegal water hookups. Well, guys, what do you think about this? I mean, you've got a situation where people are having a tough time paying their bills. Should they have their water shut off? It's textbook. When when governments have money problems, they always shut off the services that are the most important to people. You know, when we and that's had- the idea of of government having the services is because so that. Essentially, while well, these things where private companies can't actually make money, um, we'll turn it over to the government. Or the private companies may make more money than they should, so we'll turn it over to the government. <laughs> you know, these ideas, they're, that's what you know puts them in the hands of the government in the first place. Yeah, during some of the federal shutdowns, they make a point of, of closing down the offices where they know – People are going to come, like mm-hmm. the, the World parks. War II monuments, the parks, and so forth. They know people are going to come, and they can make a big show of their displeasure with with what's happening with policy by 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 shutting down these programs that are so popular. In Ferguson, on the f- first few nights when there was the looting going on, the police were not out there stopping the looters because that's it's dangerous. But later, they were happy to march through the city in a show of force throwing tear gas into people's backyards and so forth all right so you guys didn't really answer my question we'll come back with more here in moments 855 450 free that's 855-450-3733 how do you handle this water situation in detroit it's a mess and people you know obviously don't want people to die of thirst this is free talk live 855 450 free share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping Make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox Coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade-grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. Healthy elimination is essential to high energy, a cheerful mood, and prevention of disease. Some of the founders of our modern holistic health thinking state that disease begins in a toxic colon. A toxic intestinal tract is the foundation for virtually all degenerative disease. And a clean and well-moving intestinal tract is the foundation of health. I just want to say that you folks have an amazing product. I've taken whey protein products for years, and I've never noticed results I have with your product. I've suffered with thoughts of constipation most of my life. Within a few days of taking one world whey, I know noticed a dramatic change. Also, in the past few years, I've experienced symptoms associated with diabetes. I feel horrible when I've had too much sugar, and I've been getting the foot pain as well. But I've noticed in the past week or so, I'm not feeling bad anymore, and the foot pain is gone. I'm just finishing up a five-pound tub I ordered and just got off the phone ordering more. I love your product. Thank you. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. Hey guys, Mark Claire here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the Morning Roar. That's right, every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of the Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com. Advancing the ideas of liberty daily. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? 
Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. What to do? In Detroit, where people, presumably thousands of them, uh, may be having their water shut off because, well, they haven't been paying their bill. Now, you should pay your bills, obviously, when they, you know, when they're due. Uh, that's what a responsible thing to do is, and there's a good argument to be made. These people are not very responsible individuals, and you know, we can get into that a little bit deeper here. Would love to invite you to comment on what you think the situation or what should be done about this situation where. Thousands of households are presumably in arrears by, in some cases, thousands of dollars. And how do you how do you deal with that? Because at the same time, you don't really want to see people dying of thirst in the streets, right? So your ideas are welcome. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Uh, so we continue here with your calls and thoughts. We've got John. He's in St. George uh, listening to KZNU. Hello, John. Hey guys, um, actually using a different name because uh, sometimes these things, uh, other people listen on the radio, and it's not exactly the funnest job I have as a utility billing supervisor, the one that makes the decisions whether or not somebody gets turned on or turned off Mm. if they don't pay. And I thought um, it would be good to throw a perspective in there. I work for municipal government, but I am a libertarian. I'm not... uh, I'm not necessarily one that believes in zero government, but I do believe in as much liberty as we can get now, and that's why I want to affect things. So ultimately, the position I wanted to share with you guys is in my city of about 25,000 residents here in Utah, we have anywhere from about 150 to 300 people that are disconnected for non-payment. And this go- our government handles both water and power, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. And Both water and power. Wow, that's unusual. Yeah, you don't hear that every day. Yeah. Half of our district, like half of our city, there's um, actual a co-op owned company where it's like a kind of credit union type scenario where uh-huh. all the members are like, you know, uh, co-operators of their utility. And and so that makes it a little bit different, be, difficult because you have one company that's a private, kind of a privately held company. You have one that's a city held company, but both reside in the same city. So we have a differential in price and things like that. But it does create an interesting dynamic because both in the private sector and in the public sector, we both have to disconnect for non-payment because this is an issue. Meaning some people out of 25,000 in our city have about two to 300 each month or 150 to 300 each month that don't pay. Okay? Yep. And so the idea is like, what do we do with these people? Generally, they get shut off after 60 days of non-payment. That means two months of use. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's about 1%, by the way, of the total population. Exactly. We're not talking about a big deal now. Now, out of that proportion of people, okay, you have maybe 10% of them that have true, identifiable, real need. And what I mean by that is they – it's interesting. When you, when you shut somebody up that really, really has need, they will come to you over and over and over and find a way somehow, any way to get help. and. We will verify it through charitable organizations, through leaders, through neighbors, et cetera, and we can really find help for them. But then there's so, this like other the example. Let me get hold on just before you go on. An example of yeah, somebody no, who fine. truly needs help would be someone who was just recently crippled. You know, they lost their job, some sort of 
dr- dramatic thing has happened in their life that has depleted their their resources, their bank account, uh, and they really have nothing to go on. All their family's dead. They're homeless. You know that kind of thing, or they were homeless. I, I and, would yeah, I would classify like that major illness, like complete financial ruin, like a house burned down, mm-hmm. um, and they've been dislocated, they've been displaced, but yet they still need to pay the utility bill in this new apartment that they're in. And the other I mean, 90%, the- so those were 10%, you said, of the, 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 yeah. the, uh-huh. the folks who, that are Who are these rears. people that don't need water? The other 90% are are basically yep. losers, right? I mean, these are the people who are, are drug addicts. Losers, not at all losers. No? They're average people like you and me, but the difference is maybe they manage their finances different and prioritize their expenses difference in their life. Well, they're prioritizing cigarettes that- and alcohol, right? I mean, come on. These are the people who they're poor no, for a reason. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about things like they'll prioritize maybe a cell phone or maybe they're talking their Same transportation difference. is more valuable than their water. Well, because ultimate, ultimately, you know, I, I would say almost every single one of them come in with a cell phone connection mm-hmm. and with, with some type of phone. And that, to me, is a hard thing to watch because I think to myself, Geez, water and power to me and my family are the most important thing. But to them, for whatever reason, they prioritize the that because they still have a connection. And last time I checked, I mean, if you're 45 days late on your Verizon cell phone, I mean, you're going to be shut off for that, yep. too. And so well, my now, idea is like, I, I hold on, I'd them, like to dispute I, this for a second. So I had my yeah. water shut off and it was um, I got a shut off notice. Now, it didn't matter to me because I wasn't living in the house and hadn't lived in it for some time. It was up for sale and I wasn't living in the state. Um, I felt okay. like I'm not paying a water bill for a place where I have the water actually shut off. Like I had gone to the place, turned it on and like I was being charged by the county, I believe. For uh, the possi- there's a minimum, right? Right. They're, they're like for the possibility that I might choose to go and turn the handle mm-hmm. and actually like use water that I'm not using. So, how many of those people are that? Okay, so there's no one being disconnected for base charges only. There's no one in my city that's ever disconnected for that. Okay, they're only disconnected when there's actual usage or consumption considered. Okay, okay? so. That means current consumption. That doesn't mean like, okay, a month ago they had consumption. This month they don't have anything. Some cities uh, and some, you know, private industry, et cetera, they have different rules and laws and administrative regulation that allows them to lean property, to disconnect, to do interesting things, interesting tools, and make you pay for base charges even though you don't live there. In my city, I don't believe in that. We don't have those laws. Petition the council to make sure that we don't have that, and we don't. We don't do that. We're really just trying to collect for the portion that is actually being used. That's it. So you were going to say um, before Mark up, jumped I, in I there, you, point out you had an idea. These people, these, these people keep coming back each month, guys, is what I want to kind of get out there. I want to get this perspective that these same people on my list, I know them by name. I know who they are. They know who I am. We discuss. I mean, my disconnection day was today, guys, and out of the 130 nine people that we had on our power only list, I'd say I know 75 to 80% of them. And I'm not kidding me when I say that. And they know me. And my, my issue is, this is a great burden. It's a deal of resource and time and effort it takes to send my workers out there to disconnect, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, oh yeah, I forgot. I need to pay. They eventually come up with money. And I would say 90% of them, again, all of those people that I know get their power on before the end of the day. But we have the same scenario, which it takes an interruption of service to get these guys to come to in and get make their the attention. Yep, they deserve a service yeah, charge. Basically, basically, and I, you know, I, I don't, we thought about better ways of doing it, like putting notices out, like text messaging. We allow them to, you know, we're coming out with some new technology that can pay by phone. But anyway, I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that, like, there, we don't want to disconnect anybody. Honestly, I don't. And I don't think most municipalities want to do it. It's a great deal of burden and resource. Mm. And it, it sometimes it gets really heated. I mean, some people get really, really angry oh, with I you. Bet. But, um, you know, I don't know, guys. It's just, it's a hard thing. I think it's a thing that's necessary, and I don't necessarily know. You know, using force to do it, meaning saying, hey, we're going to shut off your lifeblood to your home if you don't pay. It's, you know, if I don't go to the gas station and I don't have money and, and I can't get gas inside my car either— and to me, that's almost 
equitable with my my lifeblood because John, that's my the way I earn my living. That's how to get to work and things like that. So, John, um, let me ask know, you this. Hard. So water's this kind of funny thing. Usually when you buy something, you get a bulk discount. Whereas what people sort of want, and from a macro planning uh, side, is they want people who use less water to be charged less, um, you know, per gallon, and people who ch- use more water to be charged more, especially in places that are sort of droughty. But the the system, the, the economic system, tends not to work that way. It tends to give bulk discounts for bulk users. But we hate bulk users of water. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? That's something that I've gone up against time and time again, petitioning my council to change. And that is, you know, there's kind of this like, oh, well, we believe in environmentalism or we believe in conserving water. And we do live in a desert here by Las Vegas and southern Utah. It's very arid. We don't have limited resource. What are we going to do about this water? So therefore, every tier you use, the first 5,000 gallons, we're going to bill really low at 90,000. That's about how much it takes to, 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 to live on for a couple of weeks. And then the next tier, we're going to do a dollar per 5,000 the next tier. So, you know, it goes up and up and up until where you get to the point where it's at twice the price for the same 1,000 gallons of water as it is for the first 1,000 gallons of water right. by the time you max those tiers. So that's how governments have kind of come in and said, or regulatory regulatory bodies said, hey, we're going to conserve water, we're going to serve power, we're going to do this, and the more you use, we're going to charge you more because you're you take more to the grid, you take more filters, you take more infrastructure, you take more service on your meters, you take more meters, um, all those things, and so that's I mean that's why you see some of those funny that funny business going on, but I don't necessarily believe in that. John, I, it's nice I, to I hear that, uh, that your compassion is there for these folks who are having a tough time, and I appreciate the, the story and the expertise tonight. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? America. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, August 26, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.64 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,290 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $509. 
Antiwar.com reports a new push for a return to the Gaza ceasefire is making considerable progress, with both Islamic Jihad and Hamas agreeing to the idea, and the Palestinians saying that the only real sticking point is whether or not Israel will accept it. Israeli officials say that no decision has been made on the ceasefire call and that they rejected several previous ceasefire proposals before the current one was proposed. Selling the ceasefire to Israel's cabinet is a tough matter, as the far right security cabinet has a lot of hawks who don't want anything short of a full military conquest of the Strip. Indeed, the last ceasefire collapsed largely because Israel rejected the peace deal that was being negotiated. The U.S. and European Union have been working on a draft U.N. resolution calling for a new ceasefire, though it will be extremely unusual for the U.S. to introduce such a resolution without Israel's endorsement. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. Reuters reports, family, friends, and supporters of Michael Brown celebrated the life of the teenager slain by a police officer in Ferguson, Missouri, in a music-filled funeral service ringing with calls for peace and police reforms on Monday. Brown's body lay in a black and gold casket at the Friendly Temple Missionary Baptist Church, topped with the St. Louis Cardinals baseball cap he was wearing when he was killed on August 9th. People jammed inside the modern red brick church and gathered outside on Dr. Martin Luther King Drive in St. Louis for the celebration, a markedly different scene from the violent protests that rocked the St. Louis suburb after the police shooting of the unarmed 18-year-old Brown. Brown slaying has focused global attention on the state of race relations in the United States. States. Police and demonstrators in Ferguson clashed nightly for more than a week, with authorities coming under fire for mass arrest and the use of heavy-handed tactics and military gear. The teenager's coffin was surrounded by photos of him as a child, graduating from school and smiling in his baseball cap. Spirited gospel music by a choir and horn players filled the sanctuary, and mourners clapped their hands and danced in the aisles. Readings from the Bible were met with whoops and cheers. Mike Montgomery, a city employee who took the day off from work to attend said it was real spiritual adding i usually hear more mourning at a funeral i think the family wanted a celebration that's why they had the upbeat music Expresscoin is the best choice for buying Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, and more. Expresscoin prides themselves on their customer service, so much so that the back end on the website should allow them to be even more focused on your needs. Get your cryptocurrencies with money order, check, wire transfer, or cash deposit. Get started at expresscoin.fppradio.com. That's expresscoin.fppradio.com. The AP reports, Amazon is buying streaming platform Twitch Interactive for $970 million in cash as it seeks to take part in video gaming's growth as an online spectator sport. Twitch is a multi-channel online network built for a generation of people who not only enjoy playing video games, but find it entertaining to watch others who might impart tricks and tips for excelling at their favorite games. Amazon's purchase is an acknowledgement that gameplay video feeds are increasingly lucrative. Twitch had 55 million unique visitors in July of this year, up from 20 million in July 2012. Most visited the Twitch.tv website to watch other people play live or recorded games and competitions interspersed with advertising. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos said in a statement, Broadcasting and watching gameplay is a global phenomenon, and Twitch has built a platform that brings together tens of millions of people who watch billions of minutes of games each month. The deal is the latest example of Amazon expanding into new commercial arenas. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Shortly after having sexual intercourse with a prostitute earlier this afternoon, local man Jacob Reynolds told reporters that he never expected the experience would bring him to new heights of emotional and spiritual fulfillment. I was convinced that having sex with a complete stranger behind my wife's back would leave me feeling drained and empty on the inside, but my self-esteem is through the roof. 
Reynolds, who said he paid $150 for a 30-minute block of time, said that his moderate expectations for the encounter were instantly surpassed by what turned out to be a deeply personal sexual communion that transported him to a new plane of emotional intimacy. I've never felt a stronger sense of spiritual connection. When our bodies met, there was an immediate sense of familiarity and comfort that just washed over me. I think it was the most meaningful experience of my life. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight in the studio, it's Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. And we were, for those of you just tuning in, talking about people who aren't paying their utility bills, specifically in Detroit, where the department of the, uh, the water department there, the water authority, as they're called, uh, shut off the what water. What else would they be called? <laughs> shut off the water to over 7,000 customers for non payment in June. And they're not saying how many customers are going to be shut down now, but they are resuming the shutdowns. There had been a, a moratorium uh, put on the shutdowns to give people a chance to get on payment plans. There are many delinquent customers with past due bills, some of them in the thousands of dollars, apparently. And wow. and so my question earlier was, and we actually it was interesting because we had a guy call in at the end of the last hour, who was he's a listener. He's called before actually. He's told us that he works for the government, and uh, he revealed to us tonight that he is in the shut off department that they, of the water department, basically the water authority, if you will. Uh, that he is a liberty minded person working in that department, and it is his job to process through these shutoffs and to order guys to go out physically to people's homes and shut off their water and or their power because apparently the government runs the power in St. George, which is weird, but, you know, that's how it is. So my question for you guys, and I felt like you kind of went on a tangent and really didn't, uh, really didn't address the question, was what's the best way to handle this? I mean, this is a pretty serious issue where people aren't getting water. Uh, that could result in, uh, you know, that could result in somebody's dying of thirst in in theory i mean obviously they if they've got family or friends they can probably get some help and at least have some drinking water on hand even if they're not showering regularly so i don't know if it's going to lead to too many deaths but it certainly appears a very serious situation when somebody's about to have their water cut off now our our last caller did point out that uh usually when you shut them off they cough up the money um, and that that's just what it takes to get their attention and to get the bill paid. So, but that said, there's still you know a portion of people who aren't able to really kind of help themselves. They've they've run onto hard times and they are legitimately in need of uh, of some help. So, what's the best way to handle this? Well, Maslow's hierarchy of needs put wa- puts water really high, right? Like mm-hmm. there it is. It's um, you can survive three what, minutes three days without without water? oxygen. Yeah. Three. Uh, um, three days without water, maybe three weeks without food. Okay. Um, I call it number two. Um, I mean, you you got to have water. How do you uh, communicate to people? And I think this really is what, you know, a bill is communication. How do you communicate to people the importance of water to them and their household? And the way you have to do that is to cut off their water. Mm-hmm. Like that's the only option. Because if you don't communicate to them that I will cut off your water, what you have communicated to them is is that um, water's a right, that I have to provide water to you, that I will provide water no to you. No matter what. No matter what you do. You can choose not to, you know, pay the bill. Like, it costs money to get water from the reservoir to your house. If you don't pay that, you are a bum. And, th- you know, some people need, I have needed in my life, a little a little nudge to remind, hey, don't be a bum. Mm-hmm. Be something other than that. So what that is, is that's communication. And what a company that, you know, an organization, whatever they might be, that provides water to people needs to communicate is, is that, look, if you want water, 
you need to pay the water bill. I don't agree with just sort of the service charge that um, we might provide you water. We have, you know, we're offering you the option of water, so you need to pay $20 a month just because we're offering you that option. I mean, people that are using your water need to pay for your water, whatever your organizational status is. A good an organization that wants to be viewed well by people in this world that do not understand how to communicate priorities to other people, because there's the world full of bedwetting, um, you know, bleeding heart types that are like, but water's right. I was, you know, you drew, you managed to avoid abortion up to this point. You're born, you're, um, you, uh, you know, that that's all it takes to be obligated to give you water. Johnny Ray. That's a bunch of crap. So therefore, um, to communicate to those people that I'm a good organization, you might partner with organizations that will help people pay their water bill mm -hmm. that legitimately need it. However, I would claim that there is nearly nobody on the planet that the number of people that um, that don't have water, that need water, and can't afford water – considering that water is the number two priority behind oxygen and so far oxygen is largely free, those people really don't exist. That we're still talking about a misallocation of re resources no matter who we're dealing with. And, you know, water's there at the top of the list. It should come before even rent and the house payment. Johnny Ray, why, Mark saying water's not a right, is it true? And if so, if it's not a right, why not? Well, I don't think water is a right, but that's because I don't really believe in rights. I think you kind of get what you can get in this world. Mm. And luckily, he, he, the human race is advanced far enough along to recognize that doing uh, doing good for others is usually good for you. Most people seem to kind of work with the golden rule, and that redounds to the benefit of everyone. In this particular case... I think the best thing that can happen for Detroit is for the water authority to be for the water authority to be closed and for the the water system to be a a free for all. What's and that mean? Yeah, what yeah, please describe that. It means that there would be no no oversight or regulation of the water infrastructure in the city of Detroit. So what are you saying? Are you saying that the, uh, the the water cleaning facilities that, you know, obviously there's some cleaning that goes on. They, in some cases, will add things like fluoride and things like that to uh, to water. Are you saying those facilities should just be abandoned by the yeah, city and be... that just random people should be able to go in and take it over? Are you saying it should be homesteaded or, you know, would it be would it count if some bums went in there and set up uh, set up camp? Would they then own the water facility? What exactly are you proposing? The facilities. Because there's plenty of homeless people in Detroit that would love to have a nice warm water processing plant to to sleep in. Sure, the. Provision of water is so important to people that they're going to have it. The 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 people the the market will will come because there's a an opportunity for profit there. There's a huge demand. There's a huge demand, and no doubt. But okay, is it first come first serve? Is it like if Water Incorporated shows up at the the site the moment the government guys lock the door? Do they then? You know, get to control. How do you transfer because, that? Because the people are going to want clean water. Mm -hmm. uh, those people with expertise are going to be able to, they're going to be recognized for their expertise. And recognized they will by be. Whom? By the consumer. But that the doesn't consumer answer the consumer and question. the market. I can't get into every. Uh, um, well, the classic, the classic way, and I'm not saying it's the best way. But the classic way, the idea of getting something out of a government agency's hands is that they will essentially give it to the highest bidder, or uh -huh. you know they'll somehow administratively select which company gets to administer this now privatized uh, government program. But you're saying just let it let it go and walk and away let from just it. Anybody right. take a bankrupt it over. organization should walk away from an asset that they can then use to pay government employees. I'm not saying that this that the homesteading idea isn't Rothbardian, um, you know, like at its core, and doesn't have some uh, redeeming value to it. Um, I 
I, I think it's difficult for people to imagine what would happen if they just if people just walked away from a centralized water system. How that would somehow work? I think that the best solution is is that the uh, the city council of Detroit uh, you know, nixes all laws that say that there can't be competition in the area of water distribution, mm-hmm. including uh, people being able to drill their own wells in their own yards. And many many cities don't allow this. That's a good point. Yeah, and they then that. at that point they auction off the water distribution system to the, to highest, the highest bidder, bidder and then people th- that they're going to do better at at it than the city is and then people can bring up competition all right we'll come back with more here you can share your thoughts 855 450 free coming up mark will be telling us about fraud in the world of food stamps and of course you can take control of the airwaves bring up anything i'm chuck woolery You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use a whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You'll be glad you did. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. 
You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Oh, maybe the uh, city of Detroit would have an easier time collecting on the water bills if they could get with the times and accept all kinds of payment types, like Bitcoin. When's the first water company going to be that accepts Bitcoin? That's not happening yet, but more companies all around the, the world are accepting Bitcoin. Companies as large as Dell Computers and Wikipedia to as small as Corner News right here on Main Street in Keene, New Hampshire. So there's a great website called CoinMap.org that actually shows you real-life businesses you can go into and spend Bitcoin, this amazing decentralized currency that we talked about briefly earlier tonight. But you have to have Bitcoin to spend it in the first place. So how do you get it, Mark? What's well, a good way? A really great way to get Bitcoin is to earn Bitcoin, you know, in some way, do some service and get paid Bitcoin by people that want that service. I think that that's the best way to do it. However, if you want to trade uh, U.S. dollars or, you know, uh, Canadian dollars, you can do it in Canada uh, for Bitcoin. ExpressCoin.com makes it fast, easy, simple, inexpensive, and completely legal. And that's, you know, those are important things to people. They pride themselves on their customer service. I just did some business with them today, and I am always impressed with how quickly they get to me. Um, so, you know, go to ExpressCoin.com. That's where you start your adventure in getting some Bitcoin. And you can get them, get Bitcoin by depositing at a, uh, a local credit union that has shared branching or a money order or a check or a wire transfer. Um, but either way, you start at expresscoin.com. You can even do it from your phone by downloading their app at expresscoin.com. Now, it doesn't just have to be Bitcoins. They have other cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin. And if you use coupon code FTL, you can get up to $40 worth of Bitcoin for no fee at all, or Bitcoin uh, or other cryptocurrencies. So that's up to $40, no fee, coupon code FTL, at expresscoin.com. All right, so we were uh, reading earlier about Detroit. They're going to be shutting off people's water, and we talked actually with somebody who works in a government water department, actually in the shutoff division. I love it when people call in and really uh, bring the, the discussion to a level that we weren't able to reach. Uh, so that was awesome, having that guy call in and kind of tell ex the experience of what it's like to be involved in this. He, in his case, it's not Detroit, uh, where people are much more anonymous. I mean, what... As he pointed out, he's in St. George, Utah, or somewhere around there. 25,000 was the population. He said around two to 300 people there are in arrears. They are, in any month, generally facing having their water uh, being shut off. Now, 1% of Detroit's population is probably, you know, it's going to be a lot larger of a number. It's probably not as, as a personal uh, encounter when somebody is trying to dispute their water being turned off. But nonetheless, it was interesting to hear what, what it's like because he is somebody who doesn't, you know, they don't want to shut people off is what he says. But the fact is, when you shut somebody off, all of a sudden they find the money they didn't have before or they make the time to actually come in and pay the bill. Whereas, you know, maybe they were, they were just dragging their feet previously and they needed a little kick in the butt. Well, apparently shutting off the water can do that. But nonetheless, the market has responded. There was a paragraph in the article that we were reading about uh, the Detroit government turning off people's water. And that, by the way, I, you know, I had it pulled up. I don't have it right now. Oh, that was uh, Yahoo.com. That was where that news came from. But there was a paragraph in there about some sort of a private fundraiser that was going on, some sort of organization that was actually helping raise money to pay people's water bills in Detroit. And I thought that was an interesting solution. So I went around. I wanted to find out where that was because the news article didn't actually link to it. And I have to say the, uh, the URL isn't particularly friendly, but I will post it on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter for anybody that wants to help out some folks in Detroit. Of course, my first question was, well, how do I know this is the site they were talking about in the news story? The site here is called the Detroit Water Project. They are at detroit-water-project.com. Hero KU app.com. Oh my. 
like I said, I'll link it on they our Facebook. It to, something easy that you can just give right over the radio. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll link it on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. But they're saying they're matching people in Detroit to 7,000 plus donors for direct water bill help. Over 300,000 Detroit residents face water shutoffs due to past due water bills exacerbated by Detroit's ongoing economic woes. Now, that's the claim on this website. I don't know if that's true. If it is true, that's crazy because uh, what are there, 600, 700,000 people living in Detroit? Could it really be true that nearly half of the city's population is facing shutoff? That's insane. If that's true, that's pretty crazy. Um, now, my big question was, all right, well, why do I want to give m- money to this organization? I don't even know who they are. This could just be anybody who threw up some free website saying, Indeed. hey, we're raising money for Detroit. What they're saying here in their frequently asked questions, however, is that they do not accept donations at the Detroit Water Project. They apparently, uh, they claim they're different from other funding sources and organizations in that we match donors to people in need, then direct donors to pay Detroit directly. This ensures that donors know exactly where their money is going. Transparency is paramount. So not only are you not giving money to this, you know, questionable group that threw a web page up, but you're also not being asked to give money directly to the person who owes the money on the bill. Well, you're getting a, a you know a bill number presumably from the actual customer, then you are contacting the you know, you're getting in touch with the Detroit Water Company and paying that. I bill. think that's awesome. But I also think, I mean, if you're talking about half the people in Detroit want uh, help with their water bill, color me a somewhat skeptical. Um, also, the thing is, is that I, I think water is very important. And I think that it's the rare, rare individual that can't come up with the money to pay their water bill. I think it should be among the first things you do in a given month. No kidding. I have been behind on my mortgage payments in the past. That has happened to me. But, you know, water seems it's, it's a smaller bill. It's one of those things you can get out of the way. And I I kind of feel like, you know, just because well, money's fungible. If I pay your water bill, that gives you thirty or forty dollars a month to spend on whatever it is that you want to spend like on. Cigarettes. Cigarettes, alcohol. alcohol, those kind of things. Crack. Now, now it's not that I don't have it's not that Meth. I don't think that people need those uh, you know, that need entertainment of some sort. Prescription pills. But I, I'm of the I don't like it, right? Like I don't want I wouldn't put my money towards that. If we're talking about somebody who genuinely needs water, mm-hmm. I would give to that. But I'm also skeptical of those people. That's a good point. They're going to have a story to tell. Whether the story is true or not, it's another question. Shauna's in Utah in and listening to KZNU. Hey, Shauna, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, I was just calling, and I couldn't agree more with Mark about how to deal with that situation. I guess it would be called the private, like privatization of the water company instead of Mm -hmm. letting the city run it. Um, the, the one caller that called in from St. George, I live about five minutes away from there in a, in a town called Washington. And it's, it's also run by Washington city. I have to pay my utility bills, water, sewer, electricity, and trash to Washington city. And that's very common down here. And I think it's really strange but there's also a private company here um, that would be about half the price for my electricity um, per kilowatt if I were able to go with them. Why can't you? You have to live in certain uh, – because they don't allow it. Your neighborhood. If you live in certain – well, not just my neighborhood. If you live in certain parts of Washington City, the only company you can go with is the Washington City utility company it's the same in st george and ivan's and hurricane all little shauna if you can hang on i want to bring you back we'll continue the discussion here in moments you can also take control just like shauna at 855 450 free free talk live this is dan pilla do you owe the irs money you can't pay are tax debts crippling you i've defended people from the irs for over 30 years i've helped thousands and i can help you too i wrote the book on irs settlement and i'm telling you There's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy from Phil's Gang. If you've been nervous about investing in the current stock market, then you need to listen up. Phil's Gang is having a free webinar on Saturday, September 13th. That's going to be at noon Eastern Time. You're going to learn how to invest in this type of market, not just the stock market, but you're going to be investing in yourself. Don't miss it. To sign up, 
Go to LearnStocksForFree.com. That's LearnStocksForFree.com or call 877-600-4264. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nestle Pure Life Water, helping you drink better and live better by providing a zero-calorie alternative to sugary drinks. Visit us at nestle-purelife.us. When kids are playing, they often don't want to stop to keep hydrated. So send them out with a bottle of water and encourage them to take frequent drink breaks or call them inside for a quick sip. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm me. comfortable here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make. Wait, no, now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about what you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features we have waiting for you there. That's freetalklive.com. Mark, you're going to be leaving the studio for a little bit pretty soon. Yeah, I'm on September the 8th, I am going to the first annual Marijuana Investment Conference in Houston. And I am interested in what's going on there because this is a wide open, burgeoning new field um, that by all, by all looks, it appears as though recreational marijuana is going to be a big industry. And I want to know who's going to be the players early on. I want to go see what the opportunities are. If you, uh, you know, if you run a business that is in the marijuana industry, you're going to want to be there. If, if you, you want to run a business, if you want to run a business, if you want to work in a business, if you want, want to, invest, to in invest in a business, if you want to make money, I predict that there will be uh, some of the businesses there are going to make a lot of money. Some of them there are going to flop, mm. and 
that's your job is to figure that out and i'm going to try to too but um you know you can go uh, there's going to be opportunities for people they're going to pitch sort of in a formal setting and then sort of in uh, obviously people are going to be doing things at the cocktail parties and that sort of thing but it's on uh, september the 8th in houston at the western houston memorial city just go to marijuana investment conferences.com if you use coupon code ftl you help me I will give you. I, I'll have uh, you know, little spiffs for you, uh, you know, swag, stickers, that kind of thing, um, that to say thank you and and that kind of thing. But you know, if I get ten people to sign up, it covers my whole cost. Marijuanainvestmentconferences.com. I would really appreciate you using coupon code FTL. It's appropriate to use the term swag for giveaways at a marijuana conference. The toll free number. <laughs> what does is, swag mean? Because it's it always eight fifty. Hey, look it up. Eight fifty five four fifty free. And we go back to Chuckus. Shauna. She is in Washington, Utah. Now, Sean, you're saying Washington is a smaller city just outside of St. George, um, and that's where you live. But the, apparently the government is the provider of the water and the power there. You were saying, And trash. And trash. You were saying that there's another company that provides power, I think it was, but the, you don't live in the area serviced by them. How is it that the you know the town is divvied up? As does that company serve portions of Washington or none of Washington? Well, it's it's actually the the entire area is in Washington County, mm-hmm. and certain areas of Washington County you can use this private company. But if you actually live in the main parts of one of the cities, then that city generally controls it. But the other mm-hmm. company is about half the price per kilowatt. For energy. So if I live six blocks south of where I live now, then I could get power through this other company, Hmm. which doesn't make any sense. As far as I understand it, it's all on the same grid. So I don't understand why we can't choose which company to go through. Do the people who, just a question, the people who are six blocks south of you, could they, if they wanted to, for some crazy reason, choose to go with the higher-priced uh, city organization, or do they you know have? What? I'm not sure. I think on I think over there that Washington City takes care of the water, sewer, and trash still, but they have to go. I'm not exactly sure exactly how that works. So, so what you're saying is I, six I, blocks I, south of where you are is the city border. Is that the idea? And then out, outside of the city in the county area? Basically, yeah. Wow, what a scam! Yeah, so basically, a, this the Washington City agree, has set yeah. up an they've set up a monopoly provider. They charge whatever outrageous amount they want, and they make it so that competition can't come into the city to compete with them. Yes, right, and that it's wow. the same nice for kid. St. George City, Ivan City, Hurricane City, and you know, and some of them are you know, I mean, St. George seems to be the best at at not shutting you off. You know, they'll they'll work with payment arrangements and things like that first. Washington City won't, but but I've got three kids, so mine just doesn't get shut off. So, I mean, I just can't. Think of the I children. Have my kids not have water. <laughs> huh? but exactly. I don't understand. I'm a single mom with three kids, and I have never once had my stuff shut off. We just, we don't have cable and internet that month, you know? I there mean, you go. But, but at the same point, I mean, it just, it is ridiculous to me that, that in a lot of areas, well, I've never seen an area like this. And, you know, there's another city on the outskirts. I have a friend that has uh, pit bulls in her backyard, and she's frequently behind on her bill. And I'm guessing that the com- or the, the city doesn't know her pit bulls are very friendly, but they won't go in her backyard to shut off the, <laughs> her electricity. That's they hilarious. shut it off at the pole at the end of the street, which shuts off her entire block. Oh, wow. Shauna, thanks for calling tonight. So I do then- appreciate it. I do appreciate hearing from you this evening. Thanks for sharing your experience. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. These monopolies are terrible. They're terrible because they're a monopoly. They don't have the incentive to compete. They may be run by your neighbors who may be caring individuals. I mean, in a town, you know, a small town, everybody knows everybody. And I don't know what the population of Washington is there in Utah, but it doesn't sound like it's as large as as St. George. Well, so it's probably but monopolies sm- have always provided poor customer service. They've always had higher prices. That's the nature of it. She's talking about a situation where, uh, you know, these power lines are crossed. Any company can provide, you know, if you take a look into power, the company you're paying isn't the company that is providing you power. The power's just on the grid and it's supplied by 
organizations that these companies that you, bill you sort of pay and that kind of thing. So it's a bunch of paper moving around. So is she, uh, she, she basically her bill is uh, or through ordinances passed by the town, it is just like that's the only company that can provide her a bill. So it's not like the, the other company couldn't. It's just somebody wrote some dumb crap down on a piece of paper right, and said, okay, this is your area to fleece people, and this is yep. your area to fleece people, and, and that's how it goes. That is how it goes. And what would it take to change that? Well, I guess it would be some liberty-minded city councilors who would be able to get rid of uh, the ordinances that prohibit the competition, either that or it's done at a state level where, you know, you'd have to have some sort of state law repealed, which, of course, Johnny Ray doesn't believe in. Johnny Ray is completely against using uh, the system. But at the same time, you're going to have a tough time going in there and appropriating the water processing plant or the electricity uh, facilities for for yourself. I mean, there are people there and they, they're occupying that territory. If the existing infrastructure can be used efficiently, then that's fine, but it's not necessary. In, in any place, if the water authority were to collapse, the water can be trucked in, and if there's that's enough expensive. people there, well, I mean, people need water. People yes. will pay for water. People will pay in order to avoid their own extinction. And so there's a there's a tremendous opportunity for someone to the build a man. business <laughs> selling water to people. So... So if they were all given you the need to do, all you need to do is is tell these water bureaucrats to take a hike and get a real job and shut down the water system and then just let the chips fall where they That's may. That's a great idea, friend. Johnny Ray, but I let don't know how you can do it without where they may. I don't know how you can do it without the political process. I, Unless the total failure of the government results in the water facilities being abandoned and then available for homesteading, I just don't see any other way besides changing the laws. Well, I d agree with Johnny Ray's point here that, that, that let the chips fall where they may is essentially the free market and that that has been successful in providing us with every other necessary uh, thing that we have in our lives and luxury things that we have in our lives. Mm -hmm. So let the chips fall where they may, I think is a system that will work over time. I think that there's going to be a bottleneck and there's going to be problems, but I don't think you can sell let the chips fall where they may. Unfortunately, so, you, you you got a point, point there. You've got a nice little um, kind of, I'm taking a, a, a philosophically sound <laughs> position here, and I'll run the vacuum cleaner over <laughs> in the corner while you dum-dums uh, try to figure out how to actually make this crap work. And that's kind of like how you're, you're operating here. Uh, I can't disagree with you because I think that it would work at some point somebody's going to want water and somebody will step up and somebody will, you know, step into the role of providing water. Uh, by the way, there's a little bit of info here I pulled up. I I presumed it was St. George was the town with 25,000. I was wrong about that. I apologize to those of you out there in St. George. St. George's population is around 75,000 in Utah. Washington City is around 21,000. So maybe Washington City was the city in question in the first place. Gotcha. Anyway, more coming up here. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. Hi, everyone. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn, and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, now well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, look for the green box at your favorite store. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the fields is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. 
Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to proflowers.com. Click the blue microphone in the top right corner and enter code PLOW. That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code PLOW. Never, ever send a follow up email asking, Did you get my email? Email 101, if it didn't bounce back undeliverable, it got where you sent it. And avoid transmedia pestering, like calling to ask, did you get my email? Or emailing to say, I left you a voicemail. If your emails and voicemails aren't being acknowledged, your problem isn't technology, it's technique. Is your message concise and understandable? Have you boiled it down to seem as relevant as possible to the recipient? In other words, is it the opposite of spam or junk mail? All of this really matters if you're a job seeker. But even if you're not, with money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. Bring up anything that you want. Toll free, even in these remaining moments. There's enough time for you with your thoughts at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And joining you tonight, it's Ian here. Oh, sorry, Johnny Ray. Try that one more time. Johnny Ray. Excellent. And Mark. All right. Toll free number again, 855-450-FREE. Join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. We're talking about the water. Uh, the water bills, specifically, water service, lack of competition, the government monopoly, not just over water, but also over power. We've had some folks call in from St. George, Utah. We've got a live affiliate, uh, KZNU, carrying the show. And that's a place where apparently the government in some places actually runs the power company, which is just hard to really imagine that. Um, but uh, that's the way it is. Most places that I've lived, all the places I've lived, it's been a government-approved monopoly. So the government doesn't run the company, but a company runs it and they are granted no competition by virtue of some sort of a franchise agreement with the town. So it yeah. keeps out competitors. And for whatever reason, the government feels oftentimes feels itself qualified to run the water but does not find itself qualified to run the power, which I find to be very interesting. What I'd like to know is, are there any areas, I know there are some places where you can actually get two power companies, like I've heard there's a place in the Tampa region where that's possible. I've heard there are places where there are two cable companies available. It'd be very interesting to live in those places, to actually be subject to two competing organizations trying to best one another for customer service and price and things like that. Uh, because just adding a second player to the marketplace puts the first guy in check. Uh, the fact that there's another option out there means 
that they can't get away with everything that they would like to get away with. They can't charge the prices they want to charge. They pr- charge the prices they have to charge to be competitive yeah. uh, with the other company. But I wonder, are there any areas of the country where water is actually provided not by a government, where water services to homes and businesses are actually provided by private companies? Well, yeah, there, there must was, be, right? There was a, a Stossel report on a um, town that got rid of its water company. You don't remember this? Was that Sandy Springs? I don't remember the name of the town, but uh, there was a town, that, a Stossel report on a town that uh, hmm. John Stossel reported well, yeah, on. Yeah, that's town. right. And they like cleaned up all the pipes right. or whatever. It, like, right? th- it fixed ev- all of their problems. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if that was perfect because that was essentially th- that was privatization mm-hmm. in the normal way. And meaning that, uh, you know, we will take our water monopoly, we will sell that water monopoly to a company that can run more efficiently. So um, a more efficient monopoly. It's a more efficient yeah. monopoly. And still that, not cool. That doesn't make things good generally. I mean, what you need is is that I understand that the t- the city has uh, often has a, a water complex, and that that water complex can be sold off in part or in whole. And generally, it would probably be sold off in whole, but uh, and that's fine if people can compete. But I think it'll take a decade at least for somebody to sort of step in and really be able to compete. Well, it's hard, right? Because I mean, unless you're going to do what Johnny Ray was suggesting and truck in the water. Then the only other option that I can immediately see would be some sort of crazy rain collection system, or to uh, to build new water lines. Lots and of that's farms expensive. do crazy. Lots of farms do crazy rain, rain uh, collections, and that's a, a fine thing to do. Sure, for a farm, but Dr- what about the average household? Dr- well, the, you've got a big surface area called a roof. Um, it'd be surprising mm-hmm. how much water falls on it. Hmm. But don't forget uh, drilling wells too. That's uh, very that's doable. Option. Good point. And so, um, yeah, I mean, yes, you can compete, but it usually costs. Uh, upfront money to do that. Right. Let's go to Jim. He's in Lynchburg, Virginia. Jim, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian, Johnny, Ray, and Mark. Hey, guys. There's, uh, there's no monopoly as bad as a government monopoly. Oh, sure. But, I mean, I don't understand your point. You, you really are compelled to have a monopoly for water service. I mean, I know you guys are extreme libertarian or anarchists or whatever, but, I mean, you can't have seven companies building a pipe all across town and you know, have a seven different. It's not board. likely that you would unless there was enough yeah, of a demand. See, I don't see why you couldn't have that. You could in theory, but it would be very expensive, which is why most companies would be disincentivized from making in that investment unless they thought they would be able to get enough business from the existing company to make it worth their while. It might be realistic to suggest that you could have two or three, but uh, but again, that requires a lot of install. It requires a lot of upfront uh, ability to install those pipes, and that's... Also- that's Th- this is tricky. Just, uh, well, let's not forget that you know the, the pipes are already there in many cases. Yeah, the, but you don't get to share the pipe with the other company. Why not? They share the power lines. So the fact is the town, the city can sell off the pipes and then sell off the water treatment plant to a different company, and then a third company can come in, create another water treatment plant, and use the and rent the pipes from the uh, same company that has the pipes. This is maybe all you're doable. Right. I don't know. And right. the fact is, consider, uh, it's not my obligation from a moral standpoint, to explain how a free market will work, I know a free market will work. Uh, well, I, I mean, I'm Mr. Free Market. I love you guys, and, and the free market is always the best solution. But what you're saying is just completely impractical. Uh, a, a, a water plant to serve a town of 25,000 people where I used to live cost $20 million, and that's before Obama came in and tripled the EPA rate. Mm. You well, can't have different... Or even two different water plants in a town that can completely serve the whole town and then have a McDonald's and Burger King approach. Certain things just have to be a franchise monopoly because of the intensive cost of the infrastructure. I disagree. Um, no no monopoly. I have a water treatment plant at my house, and there's no EPA regulation for it. I get my water out of the ground. I have three different wells. Um, I've got a you know filtration system. All that stuff's done, and no government bureaucrat has ever come in with their pencil, and if they did, I'd chase them off with my rake. Um, I don't— Okay. Oh. Now you're talking about independence, and I'm 100% with you, and that's great. I mean, if you're going to have a model of municipal water, you know, if you're going to have a distributed plant and water that comes to your house without a well, that's just not doable in another way. But really, what what I called about it, I just thought that, was, you know, you're kind of pushing competition too far. But what I called about is these crazy people in Detroit 
Well, no, wait a minute. Well, hold on. Why? No, maybe you're right. Wait, before you go on, maybe you're right, Jim, that it's not possible. That in the, the if there were a free market and that you could, in theory, if you had the money, go into a market and install new piping and create a whole new option for people to get water. If that were possible, at least then we'd know for sure, right? Like right now, it's not even possible. You can't go into any town anywhere in the United States and set up a competing option because it's prohibited by law. The existing uh, structure is that there's one provider, and that's the way it must be, and that's the way it will be. Now, if they were to eliminate those restrictions and let the marketplace operate, maybe you would be proven right. Maybe that no one, maybe no one would be willing to come in and make that investment for you know take that risk for the possibility of uh, of profit down the line. Maybe you're right about that, or maybe you're wrong, and maybe Mark's right, and seven companies. Uh, would would sprout up to service different areas of the city or multiple areas of the city. History or shows competition works even when people don't believe it can. Let's let it. Tr- let's at least let it happen. Let it allow it the possibility. We don't have that right now. Anyway, go ahead with your comments on Detroit. Okay, well, this, well, let me go to another point. I would I would ask you to investigate as Virginia went to a state. A state what? I'm sorry, you cut off there. To hey, you could have whatever of a different number of providers for electricity, mm-hmm. and I did for a while, and it failed, and that's all I know. And it might have been through regulations that it failed. It probably did. Every time I hear a story like that, I have to assume that that what came from that was a crazy quilt, an unworkable b- bureaucratic nightmare. I suspect you're right about that because I know in New Hampshire there was some deregulation a couple years ago. On I forget with it was it delivery or uh, supply. Either way, there's like two sides of the bill for the power bill here from PSNH, the Power Supply of New Hampshire, um, that uh, they've deregulated one side of the bill, meaning that I think it's the deliverers. Anyway, or maybe it's, no, maybe it is the supplier. It's the supplier. So there's different suppliers now apparently that you can go with and actually cut your power bill usually by like 10 to 15 percent uh, every single month, and that seems to be and going that's just strong. Somebody, that's not. So- somebody providing power that's somebody I who's billing is. you no it's not ian no? i'm telling you it's not okay <laughs> i looked into this this is just people who send out bills really huh okay well they're, they're doing it for less <laughs> that's i mean it's the telephone company you know as well as i do fairpoint's completely and um in, unqualified to deliver anything uh to people including telephone and now hmm. they're doing power where'd they get the infrastructure for that Thanks for the call, Jim. I appreciate hearing from you tonight. Let's bring Terry in here for the last word. Go ahead real quick, Terry. Oh, the, the reason I called in is because uh, uh, nationwide they're doing all these rules and regulations about people talking on their phone while they're driving. And my local news station did a report to find out if, that they, if these laws were being effective and enforced properly. So all the police were going around busting people talking on their phone. Oh, well, Terry, I, I want police. you to tell the whole story, and we don't have time to hear it in 10 seconds. So will you do me a favor? Mark your calendar. Call yes. us back tomorrow night, uh, and uh, we'll talk to you then. And call earlier in the show. We'd love to get you on to tell it. Thanks. Free Talk Live. When there are cameras around, it doesn't make a difference. There were people with video cameras all over this event yesterday. That's and good. it looked like um, uh, these people were trying to get away, Yes, honestly. they were. Yes, they were. They were being shot shot rushing towards the uh, cop phalanx. That's right. They were trying to get away. And those batons weren't rubber like the bullets were. They were either trying to get away or they were members of the news media trying to cover the event. Right. Police are supposed to be there to protect and serve. Allegedly. Allegedly to be peace officers. And instead, they're creating war. And, of course, the uh, chief of police is claiming he'll investigate. What they're going to investigate, I don't know. It's going to be very difficult to identify the officers in this video footage because there were so many of them. Mm-hmm. There was an army of police officers out there, and every single one of them was participating in the attack on unarmed, innocent people. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. 
PorcupineRealEstate.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, August 26, 2014. Gold open today at $1,290. Silver open at $19.62, and Bitcoin is trading around $510.06. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone 800-874-9760. In the news, the Bank of America Corporation has been ordered to pay a $16.65 billion settlement to the Department of Justice for its role in selling toxic mortgage bonds to Americans before the 2008 financial crisis. The settlement will also require the U.S. Bank to reduce loan balances and create new loan agreements for low-income buyers. Although $7 billion is said to be allocated specifically for consumer relief, the Watchdog Group, U.S. Public Interest Research Group, claims the settlement will actually cost taxpayers at least $4 billion in lost tax revenue. The group also reports that only $5.02 billion will be considered a civil penalty, while the remaining $11.63 billion can be taken as a business expense. Now That would allow Bank of America to receive a $4.07 billion tax deduction from the settlement. The prospect of an all-out war between Russia and Ukraine grows more likely with each passing week. The latest from the Associated Press states that a column of Russian tanks and armored vehicles has crossed into southeastern Ukraine, away from where most of the intense fighting has been taking place. That's according to a top Ukrainian official who spoke on Monday. A spokesman for Ukraine's National Security Council told reporters the column of 10 tanks, two armored vehicles, and two trucks crossed the border near Sherbak, and that the nearby city of Novozov was shelled during the night from Russia. He said they were Russian military vehicles bearing the flags of the separatist Donetsk rebels. Support for Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. <laughs> 